This is a HeadGum Podcast. In December 2020, Richard DeLisi was granted release from prison after serving 31 years of a 90-year prison sentence. His crime? Smuggling marijuana. Convicted at the apex of war on drugs hysteria, DeLisi's three-plus decades of incarceration was one of many examples of human beings immiserated for growing, distributing, or even carrying cannabis. All of which is to emphasize the strangeness he must have felt stepping into a world of casual acceptance of pot, an America in which the marijuana holiday of 420 has become thoroughly sanitized and corporatized. And so this year, on 4-20-2024, the world's second largest chain restaurant launched a dispensary pop-up in Venice, California to promote its sauce-coated chicken nuggets. Founded in the Bluegrass State in 1930 by a stolen valor colonel who perhaps should have been incarcerated for literally shooting a man with a gun, it's true, the company launched its first franchise in Salt Lake City in 1952, and has since grown to have a presence on every continent. In recent years stateside, the nearly century-old bird brand has leaned into cheekier, winkier marketing, usually incorporating the long-dead colonel himself. The Saucy Nuggets dispensary represents its edgiest attempt to date, a pseudo-risky embrace of weed culture conducted while thousands still linger in federal prison for marijuana-related offenses, despite the Biden administration's much-touted claims of clemency. In fact, the restaurant's home state of Kentucky, the K of its acronym, still has yet to decriminalize the drug, though pending legislation will allow it for medical use in 2025. In that sense, the world DeLisi rejoined hasn't changed at all. An economic hierarchy where the law shackles the poor for using a drug, while corporations are free to suck the joy out of counterculture to market fast food less healthy than the drug itself. This week on Doughboys, we return to KFC once again for the new Saucy Nuggets. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm, I'm Nick- John Early. And I'm <laughs> Doughboys. <Dory. laughs> How all my dough heads out there today? Uh, today we've got some crazy guests. <laughs> you know, before we get to our guests, I do have to introduce my co-host, our co-host. That's right. Audio Dory. <laughs> Where is I? John. <laughs> Sorry. Wags, we got the we got the wild bunch in here today. Wild we got, are it's in gonna be today. a kooky app. It's gonna be one of those apps. Uh, but it's gonna be a hoot. Uh, our my co-host, slightly less green Shrek, the Spoon Man okay. Mike Mitchell. <laughs> Come on. That's just me. Come on. Uh, who who came up with that? I'm not sure the format these emails are supposed to be in. It's not me. Uh, are supposed to be in. Should the roast be the subject or the body or both? Either way, keep up the good work. Sorry y'all are slowly killing yourselves for our enjoyment, but we really do enjoy it. Thanks, y'all. Cheers. Blake H. <laughs> From Redwood City, California. Roasted Blake H. Eat com. shit, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, you see that silence it played to? Because it was mean. A little too mean. Yeah. And I was confused. Thank you. Well, I think the rhythm was perhaps a little thrown off. So I, I think that was- Oh, like you're thing. defending the joke? Uh, no, I'm just, I, I, think the, I think probably it came in kind of a, a different place than it would normally because John come. and I started yelling at the beginning. I yeah, think so, yeah, yeah, which totally. I loved for the record. It's kind I of really fun, enjoyed something it. It different. Something yeah, I mixed different. it up. No, yeah. Uh, you also pick these, correct? Uh, Amelia sends three Ouch. options. Do you want me to give, give you the other options? You can let's, see if I pick correctly. Let's hear, let's hear the, right, here uh, are the, the two options. Do we need, so this is the audience uh, roasts you Yes, roast, uh, uh, roastedbirdfuck.com. Uh, there's a roast spoon man. <laughs> and here are the other two options. Roast option two, Ariana Nachos Bel Grande. Like it better. What is Ariana Grande and then the Nachos Bell go in there? I thought it was just a little confusing. It was kind of a mouthful. I think that it makes more it makes more sense. What's her actual name? Is it Grande? Yeah. Yes. Mitch. Ariana Nachos <laughs> Bell Grande. Uh, that was from Alex at Lame Rod. Much better. Uh, this one I thought was really mean, and I didn't want to. I'll, I'll say oh it if you want God. me to say it. Let's hear it. Come on. Ozempic's final boss. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you like that I one. Get it, I don't get, what do they mean I'm by like final boss? I'm like boss. the final challenger. They're, they're right. like the last. So is final boss a phrase used commonly in it's the It's a world? video game thing, yeah. I see. It's been and coming back a little bit because The Rock, right? Is that why it's now been the, in the lexicon a little bit more, Wags? The Rock is the final boss at WrestleMania? Mm. I guess, mm. but I think it's also just generally been in like nerd culture lexicon for you know, sure, a few decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I, Barack um, Obama. Barack Obama. Right. Oh, <laughs> is that a name for him? That, there was, was a literally sketch. a sketch. They did the Rock Obama. On what? On the great website, funnierdie.com, I believe. Was that right? <laughs> oh, no, wait. It was, it was SNL. SNL. Sketch, yeah. Oh, my God. It was SNL. See, it's because accent-wise, we, we're saying everything different, so that's where my brain went. I think it was an SNL Dwayne Johnson Whoa. hosted. Yes. Mm. That's, a lot of fun. He's strong. I think very and strong. And he's very tall. He he's is very tall. tall. How tall is he? I think he's six four. Wow. A big yeah. dude. Mm. What's it Seems like, like a, up there? Yeah. He's like what a would it be like right? up there? It would be crazy. You're, just, you're seeing everything different. The top of people's heads. <laughs> well, Midge, you're you're a tall drink of water. You're like six two and a half. Yes, six, three. It's a little colder up there, I guess. Yeah, uh, the, the, air, is the air is thinner. Uh, it gets easy. You can see people in crowds easier. That is yes. that is yeah. sure. You also get like looked at like more of a monster in some ways. I feel <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, you know, like people are, yeah. I, I told why exist. Uh, you ruin concerts for me. That's that's true. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to sit during concerts a lot of the time. On the ground? Uh, Sometimes on the ground. <laughs> yeah. It depends on where I am. Yeah. I mean, like uh, a chair, pre preferably. Uh, yeah. Preferably? Preferably. Yeah. The, uh, the. Uh, my, my priest. Uh, I, I, I kind of have a priest. Does I don't go to church to? a lot. Uh, he's he like, like 80. the priest from The Exorcist. I think he's so oh, dreamy. He's so <laughs> dreamy. He's so cute. Are you talking Wait, the young so, one or the old one? The young, the young one. one. The young one. Okay. Oh, like okay. The, the older one hair. is it? Was it Vanna? Is, is Max it, von Sydow? Van, yeah. Vanna Sido. White. But <laughs> Claudia, it is not Vanna White. We're trying to get the facts straight here <laughs> about Exorcist. Max von Sydow. Max von Sydow. Not Vanna anything. Is my uh, <laughs> my friend when I was Sorry, a kid. It's one not. Of, <laughs> One of the first porno mags like... I ever saw was uh, my friend had a Playboy magazine, like his dad's Playboy, and it had a Vanna White pictorial. Oh my god! Whoa, yeah. was she out? topless? She had. She was wearing like all sheer garments, but you could. Whoa. see Oh my everything. gosh, was wow. she near the letters? Uh, no, I, they did not. They did not have like the wheel it, of fortune. Yeah. Did she turn around an, uh, an eggplant emoji? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Is that is that raunchy? It's well, just it's very raunchy. Exactly. They didn't really <laughs> have, that, I take issue with they that. They didn't have emojis then. Well, okay, wait, maybe it was a picture of an eggplant. Then I don't know. It, it could. It could be. Ugh, you know what? They didn't do pictures either. I know. It's a crazy idea. I know it is now. I know it is. Before, I felt so confident. Yeah. The you rock, stripped that away from me. The rock well, is... they stripped a lot away from Van and White. Really <laughs> <laughs> the rock is six foot five. And I always love Ooh. this photo, which he posted, because this is the rock next to uh, NBA legends Charles Barkley and Shaquille wow. O'Neal. Wow, Shaquille and look, is he's so big. positively dwarfed by these two titans, although he himself would be the biggest man in this room by a landslide. Wow. wow. Imagine me in that photo. I wouldn't even wouldn't be even in frame. Be, yeah. You might you might have been you, in that you, you photo. You, you, you could have been. You I know, I you, was there that day. You think you'd be below frame? Yeah, look at the frame. Can I see the frame one more time? Ugh, I gotta re hold on. I close the tab. You feel Emma, like Vanna White right now. Because Opening there's a the screen. Audience. <laughs> because there's an open screen next to me. I'm like, <laughs> it's hard not to look. It's the great scandal of our lifetime. We have to get rid of screens. We have to get rid of screens. We, gotta, we, we gotta have to get rid of phones. No more podcasts. It's so bad. I've Wait, what about, are we going to do? Here's what I say. No more film there, there podcasts. It is. Yeah, okay. I would. Sorry. Maybe like the top of my ponytail would be in that photo. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So what are we saying? No more No film? more filmed podcasts. I know, Back it was to annoying. the intimacy of the There's a rash sound. on my face today. I had to buy a concealer to cover it because I'm coming on a podcast. Isn't that wild? <laughs> like the, I just I, th I think about that all the time. Just like I used to just be able to like look like shit and had to like shower this morning. I, I didn't have time. Gave podcasts this beautiful, That's vulnerable, raw quality. That's right, kind of voyeuristic. Yeah, and now, now like a TV show. ASMR just quality. Look at us. Mm -hmm. John's yeah. outfits co co cost three thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. <laughs> I, I fucking paid for a fucking stylus for this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You both look oh, terrific. You both look great. <laughs> Thank Is you. It, Can rash? you imagine if I did full HMU and a stylus for this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> We'd appreciate. I think it's about damn time, don't you think, Nick? <laughs> I'd love to get a hair and makeup artist. No, I'm in our. Uh, okay, Emma, <laughs> yeah. hit him with. Hit, we yeah, hit him with a guess. drop, please. But for everyone, yeah, hit him with the drop. I did a hot box. Oh my! Oh my God! Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is that yeah. Darcy? Is it a hot box? 364. Oh, it Wait, might is be. Is that Darcy? Is it good? Yeah. It might be yeah. Darcy. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. I did a hot box. Hot box. Hot box. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. I did a hot box. Oh, no. God. Yeah. 
Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. I did a hot box. Okay, here we go. We we think that maybe that was Darcy. That's that's what we. Yeah. That's my guess. Darcy, Darcy Carter. That is my brother's name as well. Oh, wow. that's right. Not Cardin, but Darcy for sure. That's right. Um, what's up, Spoon Man and the whole Doughboys fam? Question mark. I made this drop after hearing Mitch say I did a hot box in the Emily Yoshida episode. Okay. Shout out to That's fellow Iowan. They, we, got twin. Twin. we got a voice twin. We got a voice twin. Got a voice twin. Shout out to fellow Iowan Emily. Thanks for the laughs. Thanks for all the laughs. Sifo Sifo Dias, like the Star Wars character, Jedi Master Sifo Dias. Did I say it wrong? Yes. Sifo, Sifo I'd have to read no. it. I'd have to look at it. P.S. Phase three of Star Sifo-Dyas, Wars: The High maybe? Republic is upon us. Sifo. We went on the Star Wars ride. We did. Uh, I would say it was stupid. Mm, lackluster. Wait, which which really Star Wars ride? The one which one that's inside? Yeah, because totally it, it did you did you very... pilot or no? I was shooting. I was like, Ugh. oh, I don't think I know what that is. You're doing the Millennium Falcon one. You're not talking about the one where you walk around, right? This is your first experience with it. Yeah. I have said I think Disney Star Wars is bad. Uh, the 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 park I, and all of it, but the park is not very. The and that ride is bad. But you don't like a... the world of Batu? Batu is fucking boring. Wow. What is Batu? It's the canonical the world, 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 world for the Star Wars land. It like takes. That's the world place... you're in. I actually explained it to you multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> they got really too precious. Look, let me introduce our guests formally. Uh, from Killing It, Claudio Doherty, and the new movie, Stress Positions. John Early. Hi, John. Wow. Hi, Claudia. Hello. Thanks so much for Thanks being for here. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We love to be guests on, I want to say, Doughboys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the so they got too precious about the Star Wars universe, and they wanted to, to make sense. So it takes place in a specific timeline on a, on a specific fictional planet that they invented. Instead of Mitch, like what we've talked about, there should be like a Cloud City biome. There should be yeah. like a Tatooine biome. They should just cram all. There should be Endor. They should just throw it all in there. Hey, you want to see fucking Yoda? Everybody knows fucking Yoda. Right. You can't. Too fucking bad he's see on the timeline. You can't see he's a, he's fucking a Yoda. Right I really now. regret bringing up Star Wars. I- I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But it wasn't my fault. Someone had a, na- a special name. It's true. Wait, oh yes, but and you didn't like that ride. The, the ride. ride was just very lackluster because the screen you're like flying and shooting, and you're meant to be like, "Whoa, I'm flying!" But yeah. in fact, you're just like, "It's a screen." Yeah. I want to feel more terrified. I was more scared. There's another one, right? That's Space Mountain. That's not Star Wars. That's there, not Star Wars. I, but... Do you? I've got something. What's that? <laughs> I think Disneyland should be called Mountain Land. All the rides are on <laughs> Magic a mountain Mountains, thing. Splash Mountain, yeah. Space Mountain. That's three mountains. Wow. Well, Magic Mountain is a separate Six Flags park, but I, I think the point no, is taken. It it's not. <laughs> no, it isn't. No. Okay, it's okay not. all right. Not. Why? It's not. It's not. been corrected. <laughs> Don't you fucking do that at me. Yeah, I'll do it at you. you. I'll do it back at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How rude of you. Jimmy is that. Ba- to- Jimmy is baffled by the new arrangement here. We're she in a different d- studio. She, ne- she doesn't trust Wags She doesn't trust much. me. She doesn't want to sit the next to me. It's a T-1000 scary. sort of thing where the animals can... Move the pillow. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come, come up here. Good come sit girl. next to me. <laughs> uh, I, Claudia, I have a specific thing for you, which oh. is that we've talked about Hungry Jacks on each of your podcast appearances, yes. both solo and with John. Yeah. My parents took a vacation to Australia, come and on. my mom sent me this photo. This would be great. I, this would be great for uh, the If podcast. Jimmy sneaks between you. If Jimmy gets up between I'm Claudia be, and I. I'm going to be livid. I know. <laughs> Gemini, what are you doing? Jimmy. Come on, Gemini. Jimmy, come on. <gasps> Jimmy, Liz. She's going to do it. Oh, my gosh. She's, she's going to do cozy it. up there. She's doing it. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Oh, wow. my God. This is so good. This is adorable. You're such a good girl. <laughs> John, sorry you sat on the couch with the dud. <laughs> We're going to have We have a long I time. I can't believe she's that <laughs> That is so cute. Uh, too bad you sat on the couch with the dog, the dog Nick face. Weiger. How dare you? You know, because she wants the the body heat on both sides. So I think we'll make this more inviting for you her. You should stop more. sitting so close to each other. It's just hard not to. <laughs> I, I'm kind of snugged in here because of the microphone arm. It's sort of swooping because around. Because of the minute. microphone arm. <laughs> He could adjust that. It is very it's uncomfortable. It's fully adjustable in every direction. What, and what? I'm going to be over here, leaning like this? Well, why looking do you move away your ass you? over? No, it, I got to be. Fo- I got to be looking in your direction. You're making our guests uncomfortable. No, I We're love a great it. Time. <laughs> uh, okay, so my parents took a vacation to Australia. My Where mom. Did they go? My mom texted me. I don't know, uh, but they texted me this. <laughs> All right, Nick. Go. <laughs> A 
because this is the old, the full <laughs> details I have. Whopper on sale, BK Australia, and they sent a picture of a hungry wow. cat. Is that there the only go. photo they took in that Australia? That looks like Sydney to me. The only thing they sent me. Me too, actually. But I'm only, oh yeah, because John recently came to Sydney Since to meet my family. our last appearance, I went to Sydney. Wow, what was that like? Absolutely incredible. Wow. Um, I, you know, I, 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 stayed at, I stayed at an Airbnb about three houses down from her family home, her yeah. parents' house. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so much fun. And we had, honestly, the best food I've ever had, like in Sydney. Sydney is a food town. We didn't do any, I guess Clem's is fast food. Clem's is fast food. And I've talked about it on the podcast Clem's? Oh, okay. It's, it's so fried chicken. So try to chicken. remember everything. I I've do, I remember every, I do remember that. That was great. It's... <laughs> 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 Clem's is a Sydney-based fast food, but it's like ho- it's only one brand. There's only one, so that it's one tree trunk, right? Like an individual location, but literally, yeah. it's the only thing that comes close to KFC, which we will incidentally be talking about today. All right, that brings us to our next segment. <laughs> oh, it's KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there on the timer yet? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can do whatever you okay, need. But- do you know know who's least know who uh, Sydney is their least favorite city? Ah, oh, never mind. Who? Say it, Mitch. Ghostface. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> ah, I got it now. <laughs> but I have a really good impression of him, but but of Ghostface. But I don't, it's too rude. I don't think I could be like. You can do. What do you mean too it's, rude? It's fairly profane. I got called less green check moments. Check. Because every <laughs> everyone to do Ghostface, they go like, "Hello, Sydney." But actually. The more Ghostface thing is, goes, shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, listen to me, you fucking little. You know what he says? He was about yeah, to yeah. Shut killing. the fuck up, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, it's <laughs> totally scary. scary. It's very jarring and scary. Oh. But I wish I could remember. You know, it was, wasn't as good as I remembered. She's in Twisted Metal. Uh, uh, Sydney. Ghostface. Go- Ghostface. Oh, man, Sydney that would be Prescott? wild. Prescott? Is that her name? Nev Sydney Campbell. Prescott. Nev Campbell. Yeah, I never met her. Wait, really? Yeah, they they wouldn't let me meet her. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. We were also in completely different arcs. She was there, and, the, and they oh, were just like, stay away from there. her. Oh, my sir. God. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that would be crazy. I was going to have, you know what's funny is there was a dinner where I was going to get to have dinner with wow. Sydney Prescott. Wow. wow. But one, we had a show in Chicago. That's right. Two, I got COVID. That's right. Three, I was supposed to do a crypto ad with Gronk. What? <laughs> Good that fell through. <laughs> We all agree. A happy accident. Uh, we agree that it was probably a happy accident. You would have been the one person who got in trouble for advertising crypto. Yes, like everyone else, like gets a pass. Right, you would have Larry been David. David. I did, and I had an issue with Larry it anyway. Did you knew that the crypto campaign. of it? Yeah, mm. Gronk and coin. didn't. Um, you can bleep this out. Did he? Did didn't oh. did he have a? That sounds right. I'm sure. Ad? Yeah, sounds like the maybe I'm making that up, but I don't know. We, we don't you need guys, to bleep out. You guys mainly do whatever Diddy does, right? <laughs> we don't do what Diddy. We don't do what Diddy. We don't do, do what Diddy does. did. We don't do what. We don't do what Diddy did. We don't do the Diddy. Don't no Diddy. For did he us. do what Diddy did? No. D- wait, that sounds like a support of Diddy. What you just said? No, I said did he do what Diddy did? What Diddy did? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's did I did I do what no. Diddy did? Oh, Nick no. loves yes, Diddy. and then I'm saying no. <laughs> Nick loves Diddy. That we can leave it on that one. I did. I li- we I li- ain't. Go in nowhere. <laughs> we ain't go, go nowhere. nowhere. We can be stopped now because we do boys for life. All right, that brings us to part two of the podcast. Let's get some of those fan calls in. We've got Sasha on the line. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, I can't say this Meanwhile, anymore. Meanwhile, Gemini's never been happier. She's so She's content. Very She's happy. so snuggled so in there. Is she sleeping? She's I sweet as can be. She's just like, oh, oh little angel. So cute. I love when dogs sleep and they get really hot. I do. I like that, too. <laughs> then she you smells like corn chips. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know that I famously, I one time I was trying to show a group of people at a dinner how, like, how kangaroos are hot. <laughs> but anyway, this is like fresh off of coming back from Sydney. Even though I didn't see a kangaroo, but I was very Australia did pill. did see a wallaby. I did see a wallaby with Fun. a joey in its pouch. So oh, wallabies. sorry. A joey's a baby wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay. And um, so... I was trying to tell a group of people how kangaroos are kind of hot and like yeah. buff and ripped and they kind are of scary. They, yeah, 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 yeah. They are hot. Yeah, they're hot. And then, and then I was, I, I was using my friend's phone yeah. to show 
people I was like see you know and then I and I was swiping these pictures and I go oh see and it was because it was a picture from underneath a, like a, a chest yeah and I was I was like see like kangaroos and he goes that's my dog <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. So now John's dating the dog. <laughs> yeah. And let's just say we're really happy. <laughs> <laughs> are you dog are you a dog owner? You think we all have no. dogs? No, I can't What's, handle responsibility. Asking. What's the pet count? Because I, I know Mitch is a cat cat. Two dad. here. Zero, but I'm you know, I'm foreign. Sure. And because of Depp's dogs. Because you know how Depp oh, you know yeah. Depp's dogs. Yes. Johnny Depp? Yeah, brought, he brought them into Australia, right? He took the so oh. we have very strict quarantine rules because it's an island nation. Mm -hmm. um, but you, he just like ignored them because he thought he could do anything because he's pirate of the Caribbean. Sure, yeah. And then so he brought in his dogs on his private jet, and then he, he blamed Amber Heard. They were still together at the time. It was when they were together. Mm. Beautiful couple. They are amazing. <laughs> oh, I hope they get back together. Oh, you do. <laughs> it's kind of a will they won't they thing with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, are, there are modern day Ross and Rachel. Exactly. Completely. They got back together. It would be very funny. And yeah, quite, be, a, very, quite a story. Be yeah. Quite a story. Well, like, you guys put us through hell to get us back. But I'm so today? No, I'm saying Depp and Heard. Oh, he's talking yes. on their behalf. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah, I thought you meant you. We put you through hell to come back. Um, no way. Oh, this was I this is a privilege and an honor. On. We're thrilled, to and have we got you. to eat my favorite food I on Saturday. Yes, you did seem to very much want to eat KFC. I feel like was the decision was made before. Yes. <laughs> I kind of just told Nick they want KFC. Yeah, and you said you didn't. Like, it doesn't really, really fit in the algorithm. Yeah. I mean, there was some algorithm talk. Because it's Fuck, always... Don't say anything about the algorithm. You talk about I the said, algorithm all said, the fucking time. I did use the term SEO, which is... And what is that? Search engine optimization. Mm. But it's like... Search but... engine optimization. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way... If someone just texts you S E O. Yeah. Do you do? Would you know what the fuck Absolutely that stands not. for? Well, you've been working and you've been making internet content for a decade. Do you think now. I know what S E O means? No, I don't, Mitch. Oh my! That's why God. I planned on explaining it to you. Wow. You love explaining. Go. I'll continue to explain. Amber <laughs> because... and Amber and Johnny right here. I <laughs> the sparring. I did get at the. I've said the story of the podcast a couple of times, but I was at a wedding. And the wedding photographer came up to me and there was this old man looking at me and the wedding photographer was laughing and said, uh, he asked if you're Johnny Depp. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. What were you wearing? Kind of Did you have like a pirate hat on? I had, I had like longer hair is the oh, thing. I had wow. kind of deppy hair. And then I also had like pink sunglasses. So maybe I looked a little bit. You're drinking, out of a, uh, you're drinking a bottle of rum as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big what dangly is, earring. Right. Uh, the, and he, but also I think it was like there were some, what, there were a couple celebrities there. So he probably okay. like, oh, it's another celebrity. Yeah. Who were the who celebrities? Who were the celebrities? I don't want to dox the celebrity. Andy Sandberg was there. It was our buddy David Phillips' wedding. Oh, yeah. right. Hmm. I was there too. You didn't yeah. mention me. And also, you were there, weren't you? <laughs> nope. Damn. <laughs> we weren't invited. <laughs> we weren't invited. <laughs> there was a, a, a pony there named Rodeo that I uh, I liked quite a bit. That's what right. The oh, hell? my God. <laughs> Mitch told the story. Well, what? okay. We, we talked about this on the podcast previously. Mitch, did a, do you want to recap or do you want me to tell it? You can tell it. You t you tell it better. So, at the wedding, Mitch comes up to me, and we're it is at a lovely sort of rural sort of farmhouse uh, environment that, uh, on the grounds of this farm, this family farm. Mitch comes up to me the and says, "Uh, uh parents of the bride yelled at me." I instantly believe this because that could totally happen to Mitch. Uh -huh. And I was like, "Oh, what happened?" And there's this little pony named Rodeo, uh, and he says, "They caught me sucking off Rodeo." <laughs> <laughs> They caught me sucking Rodeo's dick. Oh, no. I'm thinking Rodeo's got to be a girl because she's a pony. Yeah. Oh. Are ponies girls? I don't think they're necessarily I think it's just girls. a mini horse, right? Or, or was it a pony? Might have been a pony. Pony, I think ponies can be what's the difference? boys or girls. Mini horse versus pony, what's the difference now? I think, I think a pony is just a mini horse. I think they're different species. Oh. I can look it up. It, was a, it had an eye missing, right? Yeah, it was missing an eye. Aww. Did its eye pop out when it came up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Claudia. That in the history of anyone getting sucked off, have eyes ever popped out? Well, if it's really good, that's what can happen. <laughs> and she would know. <laughs> Mini horses are smaller than ponies. 
Wow. wow. Okay. Five Imagine if there was one on this little table. That would be. No. So that would be. No, really I, think they were, they, I think they cuddle up right here. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna get her over here. I'm being a jerk today. You He's start the show off, up. call me Les Green Shrek. And that's that was, was the fan roast. That's the thing that we do every <laughs> Why episode. Why am I being a joke? That was You're not Nick. That was the fan. Thank you. Thank you, John. Sorry. I just, it's hard with the couch position. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> Invites back. It's not, very look, Wax, I make peace with you. It's not uh, couch v couch here. I love you. I love you. And I love you too. I, I love, love you too, well. Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone got not silent. Saying, <laughs> not returning. What? Oh, okay. So I want to talk about KFC, but I want to generally talk about fried chicken because I, oh, I have come to huge. infer that this is a favorite food of yours. Yes, it certainly is. Is it number one? Because I think it is for me. I think it's my favorite food. Probably number one for me is spaghetti. Wow, spaghetti. Oh, wow. spaghetti. Yeah. And that was why Jollibee was such an exciting time for us. So because perfect. It makes it pairing. Yeah. But um, the spaghetti is weird, though. Remember? Yeah, it wasn't for... good. Essentially, it's in ketchup. So that yeah. was not good. But Banana today ketchup. is not about Jollibee. Right. No. KFC, it's just mm. my brother and my sister, they liked McDonald's. I loved KFC. Mm. So there was always a war whenever fast food was available. And it, they would always win because it was two to one. Because right. fast food is always associated. You just think of burgers and fries. Sure. <laughs> And you don't, and you don't think of actually, and to me that is like, I love burgers and fries. I love them quite a bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's kind of like not food or something. I, you know what I mean? It like, sure. it just transcends food no for bites. me. <laughs> and KFC is always has a kind of exoticism to me because it it's yes, it's a fast food chain, but you're really getting real food. You're getting the a real meal. Visceral, animalistic mm, nature yes. of tooth on bone. It right. feels less like made in a tooth weird on, oh. machine. Oh, yeah. I guess you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know when to and stop. Veins. <laughs> yeah, veins popping veins in and your mouth. Oh Shot. God, that's yeah. horrifying. Sorry. Veins, I don't Reality like beaten? I don't yeah. like the veins personally. I don't either, obviously. I wish it was more veins. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing they do now. Yeah, just a bundle of veins in, in banner. Oh. <laughs> no! oh. Can I get mine vein style? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh wait, hold on a second. Veins, what were you saying? Vein. Oh, bone and chicken. Just oh. like Tooth on bone. What, 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 didn't KFC have, he ate the, isn't he ate the bones? He ate the bones was their campaign, yes. Yeah. What the hell? Who it, did? What? It, this was a this was an ad campaign and it sucked, when? but it was basically a early 2000s maybe. Mm -hmm. And it was basically when they introduced boneless. Mm -hmm. And so the idea was people were eating boneless chicken and being like, I ate the bones because they didn't realize that there were no bones oh, in the KFC right. chicken. Oh, oh. The implication being the people are stupid. I guess so. <laughs> well, I, I, there was like a dumb guy ad, right? I think, yeah. just, joke of it? I think it was a dumb it was guy. A dumb guy. Yeah, 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 I yeah. bet we know who that guy was. You know Probably, I mean? yeah. I just yeah. hate this tender movement. I don't want tenders. I want bones. I agree, agree with you. Agree, agree, agree. So, so well, this is a big both, thing. We both ordered tenders today. We did get tendies, and I got it as a control and versus why, the saucy why, nuggets. Why are we calling them tendies? That's him. That's not me. Is That's that not you? KFC. That's not KFC? No, it's me. But we can call it tenders <laughs> if you like. Oh, Nick. Yeah, I know. I think it's fun. Grow up. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to. He he spilled a cup of wine the other night while reading a manga. That is true. So he's grown up. Wow. He's like half and half. A cup or yeah. a glass? A glass. I, I have the stemless wine glasses at home. Yeah. The stem, does it have the, the finger? Ones the little grooves? Or no, whatever? it doesn't. Okay. Do they make well, that's those? That's a great yes. way to warm your wine up. Really? Yeah, to hold, yeah that's drinking... the point of the stem is yeah, to, to not... not warm it up. Yeah. Sorry, obviously Are not. you drinking red or white wine? Uh, red wine. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not drinking white wine out of a stemless so glass. You could, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not a fucking animal. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. good, good. good, good, good. Yeah. He's good. a spill. He's a bit of a spiller. I'm a spiller. This is the thing. I'm just like, I, I knock shit over all the time. I'm always yeah. spilling. I shattered a glass in that studio yesterday. This Whoa. one? One of these? One of these? No, it was, well, it was the drink or stank glass, but it was a Doughboy's brand. It is, it is, it is broken Parker's completely. Kinship goods. Is, I do just want to take a second to promote the podcast Doughboy's. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing podcast. An amazing They've got podcast. really cool guests on. It comes in. out weekly. It's on right now. It's yeah. They they eat fast food and then and review it. It's very fun. And there's everyone gets involved. The audience gets to send in really mean little things to everyone. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's really cool. It's like, so check it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry sorry about that annoying promo. I just we had to do it. 
You know what? I loved it. I loved it. I'm all for it. I wish more guests would do it. Here's a funny thing. What? Birds came from dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I honestly do think that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So we today we're having a big bucket dinosaurs. of we just big bucket of dinos. dinos. Well, is that a big is that bucket sweet, of dinos? Is that settled scientific theory, or is that like the Ian Malcolm hypothesis from Jurassic Park? And some paleontologists think it, but not everyone. I think agreed. it's true because they're like, oh, it turns out they all had feathers. So this is the consensus opinion now. Yeah. Interesting. Wait, Emma. Well, I was gonna say the last time John and Claudia were on was the origin of bird fuck. You came in. Wow. Had the know. bird fuck wow. dream. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. That's crazy. That was did, it. did you guys keep talking about it? I mean, I listen, of course, we, to the podcast. We, we, <laughs> it's now it's now our homepage. It's now our it's now our official oh, URL. Wow. It I is. think it got like purchased during the podcast. It did. It, yes. it did. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you ever make a roast chicken and it's still got the feathers in it, so you have to like uh, it's got the quills. Ew. And you've got to like fuck them out. Yes, that has happened to me. That's happened to when me. When you, as well. especially if you buy really like nice organic chicken, yeah, chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. then you're plucking them like a medieval it's wench. Crazy, yeah. but we shouldn't. It should be sh fine, but it grosses me out. Yeah, no, it's I'm, too I'm disgusting. It's in that sort of, um, you know, many holes. Oh, problem. Tricky tricky timbo. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tricky tricky timbo. <laughs> and then you're like, Ugh. you're like, ooh. You're talking Shut about the the phobia of seeing a bunch of tightly clustered holes. holes. Yeah, yes. I can't remember what it's called. Something yeah. like that. Tricto trictonophobia or something. Yeah. Shout out to the uh, medieval wenches for doing all that work. All that I plucking. All, all that bird plucking. Yes. Thank you. Birdpluck.com. Yes, <laughs> Did you get that one? I don't know what we'd use it for, but we could get it. You can just yeah. redirect just to birdpluck.com. I'll pay monthly. You'll pay monthly? <laughs> Literally. Money's not an Emma, issue how much for me. <laughs> Birdcluck.com <laughs> looks like nobody owns it, so we bird, can bird, get it. Bird pluck. Oh, sorry, sorry. bird pluck, pluck not cluck. Sorry. <laughs> My yeah, bad. we don't want bird uh, pluck. <laughs> well, bird that's stupid. Clearly. Also looks available. How, how much? How much would that cost us? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's get it. Let's waste. Well, yeah, we could of... waste our money on birdpluck.com. <laughs> does this come out of the Patreon? I mean, everything does, I guess, in yeah. a way. Birdpluck.com I mean, would be one penny for the first year <gasps> uh, for a three-year contract. Twenty-one ninety-nine a year after that. I think that's worth Is it. Is the bit worth $22 a year? For at least a year. Yeah. $22 a Casey's salary a year. Is it worth it? <laughs> we, oh, yeah. This is deducted it. from Casey's <laughs> salary. Yeah. Oh, Casey, um, come on, Casey. Yeah, I think so. Come on, Casey. <laughs> Casey. Come Casey. On. If you give the thumbs up. A solid. All right. Let's do Yay! it. Yay! <laughs> Birdpluck.com. Now the redirecting home to birdfuck.com. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a typo, you'll end up where you need to be, birdfuck.com. Yeah, if you have a typo where you put P and L instead of F, you'll <laughs> yeah. be at, you'll you'll be safe. That's a very common typo, you know. You to never do P know P and L instead of F. Oh, you never God. know what autocorrect is gonna do. Can I tell you that my genius porn plan when I was in middle school? Please, was. please. So I would, in in order to look at, and you can bleep this out, gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would type in, I would start, because, you know, all you have to do is a starting address. And this then is it can on take the family computer. Like, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, to be yeah. clear. The family computer. I would type in hotmail, M-A-L-E dot com. And that was a real porn site. And yeah. I would start there and then go on, a, you know, whatever. Go yeah, on a sure. ride. <laughs> And then the plan was if my parents found that. Now, I would also clear the history, whatever. Sure. But if I forgot to do that, if there was some sort of mistake, if my parents ever found that, I would go, oh, my, oh my God, I have a Hotmail account, M-A-I-L, and I typed it, M-A-L-E, <laughs> and I end up on these crazy sites where people are sucking and fucking. I don't know what was that, but I was cracking up. But no, People's I People's eyes are popping out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that was always my plan if I were to get caught. It was like, I was just trying to check my fucking email back off, mom. It's really smart. You got a plausible <laughs> deniability. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Because okay. often when you're trying to write I-L, you write L-E. L-E. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what could they what could they say to that? Also, you're not gay. You're not gay. I'm not gay. You're yeah. not gay. Also clever on the who porno is your companies. Girl, who is like your now. girl crush? Who is your like fake girl crush? Well, the thing is I never really was faking my girl crushes. Yeah. It was like I was kind of like saying I had crushes on girls in a kind of unconvincing way, but I didn't really know I was gay. And then yeah. once I knew I was gay, I stopped doing that. But the like the final few pre realizing I was gay. <laughs> I think you know this. 
Ashley Judd. I was like, she's so amazing in Simon Birch. <laughs> it was Ashley Judd. It was Juliette Binoche. Wow. She aged. She's aged like fine wine. Yeah. yeah. And then I think I think I was Juliet like Binoche. Britney Spears, but what I was but what I was actually thinking about was Justin in my head. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Were you were you were you a Britney Spears crusher? I didn't, I don't know if I had a me? crush on Britney Spears. No, it was not Britney. Maybe well, too old. We're also no. too old. I think I, for mm. me it was Trini the Yellow Power Ranger. How about you? As in, oh, is that, I, um, I liked I liked the Pink that's Power not Ranger. The pink, pink is Amy yeah. Jo Johnson. She's yeah. the one yeah. from yeah. Felicity. Yes. Oh, uh, oh wait, what? Yeah, she's the friend in Felicity is looking for her birth oh. mom. Oh, yeah, she's looking for her birth mom, and she finds her, and the results aren't as nice as she. Might is hurt. her mom Jane Kaczmarek? <sighs> I think she might be, and she like doesn't want. Yeah, she, she doesn't, doesn't want but, her back. But then does she want something? Maybe. Like money. to hang out a little bit? <laughs> She's like, know. no. No. But <laughs> maybe we'll hang. Go to the movies, yeah. We can have coffee once. <laughs> have yeah. you revisited that show? Yeah. Yes. Worth watching like in modern times if you're not familiar with it? Yeah. It is. It is. Incredible. Wow. It's wow. fabulous. Okay. I have maybe to say, like, it's very, um, you know, it has a kind of teen like cozy kind of weekly you know sweaters yeah sure. but um, there's an extra layer of like they treat their audience with respect like yeah. it is a she is a complicated character it is a deep show it's incredible and it's her performance great. is insane carrie russell she's is an amazing an actress incredible actress yeah it's good Huge do you fan. know the pilot <laughs> no, I don't at all. The pilot is that she has a crush on Scott Speedman at ben. their high school, and they like mm -hmm. never talked. Mm -hmm. And then he's and she's already set to go to Stanford because her parents want her to go be a she doctor. She lives in Palo Alto or something. Yeah. That's like yeah. And then and then he signs her yearbook, even though they've like never spoken. And he leaves this long thing. It's like I always like noticed you and you seem so smart or oh no <laughs> you're fine you just push it back on it's 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 fine it's and by fine. the way i want to say i'm bringing this back around to fried chicken please i have a plan <laughs> i love it and then but he's like he signs a yearbook and then she reads it and goes crazy and then she follows him to nyu Why you? wow that's guess where john went to college NYU. Wow. <laughs> Who's listening now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that was yeah. Ghostface. Ghostface. I'm listening, motherfucker. <laughs> um, but 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 then so the first episode is her showing up at NYU, and then Scott Speedman's like, hey, it's like it's genius. Yeah. It's like actually kind of scary and like uncomfortable. And anyway, did he write like kind of a, like any sort of tender message, or was it just like that he wrote anything? No, it is tender. It is tender, but in the way that hot boys are yes. like know yes. how to make you feel exactly because you know how like really handsome men are like, this is so nice for you talking to me. Yeah, I'll yeah let we you are enjoy like that. it. Y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> and you're like, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I see Scott Speedman constantly in L.A. Right, really, right in this area. Not to dox his ass. I've seen him once in this <laughs> really? area as well, yeah. and I was like, this is like a scene from Felicity. Yeah. I'm like looking at him, and he's not looking at me. <laughs> is he fast in real life? Yeah, he was speeding Speed around. Speedman. Imagine if that's yes. your last name, and you get pulled over by the cops. I'm just oh, speeding, the guy man. Would, yeah. yeah. You know what? I would be okay with it because he gave that copper a nice laugh for the day. <laughs> he'd see it and he'd say, this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. What are the odds that you would be speeding? Yeah. Who's your child crush? Uh, my child crush? I don't <laughs> meaning, know, meaning when you were no, a child, Jesus, to be clear. <laughs> it's funny because I did like, like I, as a kid, I remember liking Suzanne Summers on Step by Step. Oh, sure. Oh, cute. Whew. Um. <laughs> Uh, I, it's boring too. I think I liked like I when I first saw Baywatch, but I don't I like childhood crushes are like harder to Pam Anderson when I first saw Baywatch. Was Carmen like Electra big... just followed me on Instagram. Well, wow. well, well. I was wow. like, how, I'm like I keep checking to see if she's still following. Like, how can this be real? <laughs> she, Bug Mane's old flame. <laughs> Bug Mane dated <laughs> Carmen Electra. No. Yes. In real life. Yes. <laughs> Wow. For how long? I don't know if people know this. Do we not disclose this? I mean, no, it's a great, it it's it's great for both. Leave it in. Leave it in. You guys have pink inside? Yes. We're outside Heckham. Look, things haven't gone the way I wanted them to today, Wags. This is, bitch, this is going great. Our guests are being funny. We got to step it up, you and me. You guys are being funny. No, you guys could be funny if you try. This is the thing, Mitch. When you get to you get two dynamos on the podcast, you just gotta sit back and you gotta let them, let them go. Let them rip. Yeah. 
we're beta boys. We sit back and we let things happen. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Mitch. I feel like during the summer, pretty much everything I'm doing outdoors is making me thirsty. Yeah, I'll tell you what the issue is. That blasted sun. Curse the sun. Curse the sun. Giver of life, but also... Giver of heat. Giver of a dehydrator in chief, I'd call it. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Summer requires extraordinary hydration because of the sun. You know it's like built for everyday dehydrating moments. Yes. The moon is cool. <laughs> Moon's real cool. When the moon the is out, out, there's never, never a doubt. doubt. The, the moon, moon is cool. <laughs> And when the sun's up high, you can't deny it's gonna be hot, 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 hot. Anyways, I think that we've expressed that the sun gets you hot in the summertime. And the moon keeps you cool. Liquid IV hydrates you with benefits like electrolytes, essential vitamins, and clinically tested nutrients. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients in a single stick, it's clear why Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America. Wags, that's right. And you know what? It's so easy to just tear open a packet of Liquid IV, pour it into a cup, mix it up with some ice cold water, and drink it down. My favorite flavor, strawberry. It's a hydration multiplier. That's right. Gets you even more hydrated, and it's easier to stay hydrated while traveling. And you know what, Mitch? We like the taste. I love the taste. And you know what? I love that I'm getting all those uh, electrolytes and I'm not getting filled up with sugars. Yeah. I love the th- I love the smell too, and it helps you out, not just while traveling, but after a big night out. You know what I mean. Come on. I Come can- on. <laughs> the moon, moon is cool. Cool, cool, cool. The cool. cool. <laughs> <When> moon <laughs> is cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Tear, pour. Live more. One stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. And Wise, it's got three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, eight vitamins and nutrients, non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and now sugar-free. We got white peach, wow, green grape, wow, raspberry melon, and lemon lime. That's right, Wags. Turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DOUGHBOYS at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code DOUGHBOYS at liquidiv.com. I love Liquid IV. You know why? Why? Because it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And the sun is hot, hot, hot. 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 Mitch, listeners, did you know learning actually makes a sound? It's true. Listen to this. That's the sound of you learning a new language with Babbel. Be a better you in 2024 with Babbel, the science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. And Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. Wow. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. Mitch, you know what I love about Babbel is the courses are convenient. They help me learn real-life conversation skills in my chosen language, Spanish. Makes it easier to order food, ask Mm. for directions, speak to people here in Los Angeles uh, without having to consult language apps uh, while you're on the go. Well, Wags, studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove Babbel is better. One study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. And you don't want to go anywhere near a college campus these days with all those protests. No, thanks. Babbel has over 16 million subscriptions sold. Plus, all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Wags, (laughs) and all those protesters out there... Here's a special <laughs> limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get up to 60% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at Babbel.com slash Doughboys. Get up to 60% off at Babbel.com slash Doughboys, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Doughboys. Rules and restrictions may apply. Uh, all right, let's talk about KFC. Okay, okay. let's you know get what? back to it. When we're all said and done... And when Doughboys is done, I'm going to write you a nice note, too. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. nice. Mm-hmm. You're when a, it's Mitch, all said and done? 
When do you think you'll stop doing this podcast? Great question. <laughs> we we thought we were going to stop doing it five years ago. And no. the, the question is, or the actual answer is that it's just hard to turn that cash fountain off once it becomes oh, like a reliable beautiful. source of income. That's so <laughs> sweet. That's exactly what our listeners want to hear. <laughs> we don't want to do this anymore. We just yes. keep doing it. Yeah. The because cash fountain. It has its own momentum. <laughs> Because of the Patreon so spigot nice. that goes directly into our checking accounts. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, t- it's tough. But I mean, this is the thing, Mitch. It, it becomes like a baseline, uh, you know, of, of income in an industry where employment can be tenuous. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Claudia you, and I have talked about doing a podcast. You should. I've it would already be an incredible told you podcast. that it would be a podcast. You should absolutely podcast. do it. You should What's do it here it at called? HeadGum. Pasta Girls? Yeah, Pasta Girls. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. Think about your podcast without us. How yeah. good it would oh, be. Oh, my God. Well... <laughs> We'll okay, but you it. could be guests like most weeks. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love I'd to love come to. on the podcast. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't uh, cut that bit of the podcast. I will say, and, and Emma can, can speak to this as well, the biggest pain in the ass of any podcast is booking guests and yeah. scheduling mm-hmm. guests. Mm-hmm. So if you have a format with Pasta Sisters, is that what it was? <laughs> Sisters. <laughs> <Pasta Sisters. laughs> Sorry, Pasta Girls. Pasta, pasta Sisters girls. is a, good, though. If you have a pasta format with- Pasta Sisters is like, pretty good. <laughs> That might be a restaurant. If you have a format with Pasta <laughs> Girls, it is a restaurant. We can't call it. Um, <laughs> it, 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 like, like if you if you set it up where most of your episodes don't have guests, yeah. that becomes yeah. a lot easier. Well, the guest is the pasta. The guest He's is yeah. the yeah. 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 So that's and a that's lot easier. That's the whole to thing. Do. We do a different noodle every week. <laughs> that's a great idea. That's a great show. That's a yeah. show that instantly has an audience. Yeah. Sounds yeah, pretty but... great. Uh, but uh, just avoid releasing on Thursdays if you catch my drift. <laughs> Okay. Wait, how are you on Thursdays? <laughs> yeah. So, Dude, the Doughboys come out on Thursdays, midnight. Does that matter? Do like all podcasts come out on Thursdays? No, there's no. a they're, they're, they're different days. You just kind of pick your day and, you know, people expect it then at yeah. a certain yeah. time. Forever. And then they become ravenous for it. If, That's the thing, If yeah. you've got it. Yes. Right, sure. You guys have it, but let me tell you, not everybody does. It's just the truth. She gives me a rundown of who has it and who doesn't have it. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk right. about it. It mm-hmm. is brutal. Wow. <laughs> but it's an incredible binary. Yeah. Who has the juice, Swags, in this world? Who has the juice? Yeah. In the, com- in, in, in the entertainment world. Who's got the juice? That's what we're looking for. We're going to yeah. say this right now? No. no. no oh, no, my no, God. No. no. Are you crazy? Something very <laughs> mean private to game. talk about yeah. privately That's in a mean way. That's between us and the NSA. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who hears all? <laughs> Well, our guests certainly have the juice. Thank you. Yeah, we have it. And <laughs> and we all had some KFC. Uh, and <laughs> KFC was last officially reviewed on the podcast in 2022 with their new Beyond menu. Do you remember that episode, Mitch? Right. Ooh. They have now completely discontinued their Beyond proteins, oh, as has the entire really? Yum! brand quartet of restaurants. Who is in the Yum! Yum brand? brand? It's KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and now The Habit. That's the wow. fourth one. That's their burger concept. That, what is The Habit? Yeah, what's The Habit? The it's habit, nuns? It, it's like a... It's, <laughs> it's burgers. It's a burger concept, yeah. But made, made by that. nuns? I mean, they should. They could lean into the nuns. I know. Back cool. in the habit, they could be yeah. huge. Six act. Two. Sister, Six pasta two. sister act. <laughs> the sister act. Sister act. Have two. you all watched Sister Act recently? Sister act two. No. Why are you talking like that? Are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? I'm taking a lot of supplements. I know. I thought they were supposed to clear up your head. <laughs> they, I, they are supposed to. I'm I taking I'm, trusty supplements. I'm taking a nasal spray that has silver in it. Emma's going to check to make sure no. I don't turn blue. I just, it can't <laughs> possibly be good. It's going to be a whole, what was that documentary called? Love is one. It's going to be Love is going to win again. I'm scared. <laughs> I, I Look, I'm not, I won't, I'm not going to turn blue, Hope. I don't think I'll turn blue. Yeah. Um, so you you blend a... into the wall suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> can you do that, Mike? Can you try, can you make me blue? <laughs> I'll ask him. All right. It would be cool if you could make me turn cool. slowly turn yeah. blue. Yeah, it episode. would be a cool episode thing. Uh, if you had a clip of that, I'd post it. <laughs> <laughs> to stories. <laughs> to grid. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. I cannot make that promise. You don't have to. You, in fact, you don't even have to retweet that the Doughboys or re X that you were on the Doughboys. Because you're yeah. such a big hit podcast, you don't even need it. We don't need it. You anymore. know I love retweeting it because the fans go fucking nuts. <laughs> they love <True>. y'all. <laughs> they really do. I guess. Thank you. That's really I, nice. I feel so that we're beloved. Feel beautiful. It feels so nice to be part of the family. <laughs> I feel beautiful to be part of it. Can I just say 
that cardigan is doing amazing things for your eyes. Really? Because Speaking of blue. It's deepening the blue it of is, your eyes. Very yes. nice cardigan. I, l- this is new. It's the Shaggy Dog cardigan, and it's the classic brand, the, I'm forgetting. <laughs> J-Press? I can't see. Mm. J-Press. I think it's J-Press. It's really hard to read from here. Oh, yeah, J-Press. J-Press. It's like J-Press. very Kennedy. It's very it's like JFK. gorgeous. Do they make women's at all? It's um, got such a small can, frame. It's so hard to no, no. I think they wear. do make women's. They, they do the fabric. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's comfy. Yeah, it's, and it's not itchy, even though it seems. I know what the? Is this a freaking episode of the Pasta Sisters? What the fuck's going oh on here? Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> We're talking about KFC fried chicken. Stay on topic. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so, the sorry. Okay, so, okay, so let's so. talk about the, KFC. So, Beyond menus done. Beyond menus done. They've got they they've they have abandoned and they all their plant based the proteins. Thing? Nuggets. They did, yes. Tendies, et They had a whole bunch did of that they have, shit. Do they, they don't have, like, the ones with bones. No, they never did a, a, a bone simulacrum from some sort of plant. So oh, weird. I'd love a it bone would be simulacrum. Yeah. No. And the bones, like the fun dip stick, the sugar stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we most recently, Mitch, uh, the, the KFC was a presence of the podcast. The KFC Famous Bowl had middling success the Yum! Brands Famous All-Star Bowl. Game. Uh, oh. Yes, that's the that's the one that is uh, it's chicken on top of mashed potatoes and corn with gravy all over it. It's just like a big that pile of KFC good. ingredients. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that sounds pretty really good. It's 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 okay. It's okay. That yeah. was that was part of this year's Tournament of Champions. For whom the bell does, uh, Munch Madness twenty twenty four. The Tournament of Champions night. Dokiero Taco Bell saucy mm-hmm. nuggets were introduced on April first. So Mitch, of this. this- of this month. year, of this yeah. month, this of month. this year, well, and this hot is topic. <laughs> it's April. Right. It's, we're recording in April. This episode will be out in early May. So this is about as topical <laughs> as we get. <laughs> and this is where the previously discussed SEO comes into play. Search engine uh, optimization. All right. So there are five sauces. And Mitch and I also went to the KFC Saucy Nuggets dispensary pop-up for 420. We'll have that an episode about that in the Doughboys Double in the near future. But I want to go back to why KFC in general. Because you wouldn't know about the Saucy Nuggets news page. No. You weren't looking I for that as a reason to discuss it. Yeah. You just want to talk about KFC generally. I've begged you every time I've come, come on this podcast for, what, seven years? I don't know. I don't know when I started coming on. Uh, it's been a while. It probably, yeah, probably maybe since longer. We definitely love, did a when pandemic love episode. Started. Okay, so that's what 2015. We're nine years into the podcast. That's have, wild. I known, have I known you Crazy. the whole time? Yes, we shot love in 2014, babe. Your first Doughboys appearance looks like it was 2016. <laughs> Ooh, wow! It took wow. you two what years to let me Baja on fresh. the show. Baja Fresh. Baja Fresh. Yes, we did Baja Fresh. It was Baja Fresh. Wow. I did not like that. It was also confusing because really you kept saying, off. can we go to KPLC? And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but it's, you know how people put, yes, they confuse the F with PL. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait, what are it's you talking common, about? It's a common typo common of F if you put PL instead of oh, F. So yeah. she was like, Ke- oh, oh, KPLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a callback. It was very good. Callback. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but here's what. And so I've asked you every time, you're always like, we just did it for Munch Madness. But like, it's always like this. I'm always, always missing some out. Caginess. And so this time I actually <laughs> had to just be like, you have to let us do yes. KFC. I told Nick, I said, yeah. it's KFC or here, nothing. Here yeah. we go. We it's, got KFC right in Australia. Didn't we get it after the Paul McCartney concert or did we get Clems? I think we got KFC. We got KFC and we got Clems. Wow. Day. Yes. Post Paul McCartney. Post yes. Paul McCartney, we got KFC he said and at we the put... end of the show, he said, go get some KFC on your way home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, believe that. Whatever Paul that. says. And then they had a hologram, John Good. Get KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Original <laughs> recipe. <laughs> um, Blackbird, more like a fried bird, Wags. Yeah. Oh anyway. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, anyway, so we had KFC in Australia. We had KFC literally on the at the airport at LAX on oh, the yes, way to Australia. Oh, yes, because it's one of, the, one of the best parts of flying from LA to Sydney, which is my most common plane I go on. Sure. Is that there's, I'm like, I'll get some KFC. Because there's a KFC in the, in the airport in the international yeah. terminal. Wow. But something really awful has happened. Also, John would have noticed there was mainly Australians in the queue because Australia Literally. loves KFC. Yeah, I knew, oh, we wow. knew this. We knew that Australia loves KFC. We love KFC. And so, and it was just Australians in the queue. And then you could hear people being like, there's no bone in. There's no bone in yeah, chicken. Yeah, it was like. There's no bone in chicken. <laughs> they had no bone in Like on the chicken. menu or they were out? On the menu. This yeah. is wow. at the airport, KFC? Yes. At the airport. 
And it, it might be a security it's risk. It's a travesty. I guess it's true. You could like chew it and like sharpen it and then take it onto the plane. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get into a shit. Or just throw a bone at someone could hurt. I exactly. Yeah, at the pilot's head. Yeah. yeah. But it was, you know, we. I still got it. I still ate it. The wedges. Okay. In America, do you just have wedges? We, we had wedges what? for a while. Now we, we now we got fries. Now there's fries. magic special yeah. fries. Or Wait, something. are the wedges gone? I didn't see the wedges on I the think menu. The wedges when I are gone. I'll look right now. The wedges might be. Is I that, just, that what used to be the KFC fry was like a potato wedge. Yeah, yeah it was, I don't which remember it that at all. It's not a good idea. It's I don't like them. I don't salty. like the wedges. It's too seasoned to go too, with the. It's too thick. Simply stunning yeah. chicken. It is stunning chicken. They get you're soft. right. The thing about KFC is the original recipe bone in chicken is too thick. It gets soft. My sorry. favorite chicken <laughs> on planet Earth. You love the KFC chicken. So I don't. Were you, just, were you just trying to get Jemmy to your? Was that what that was? You went. Oh no! But I. You're trying to get the dog to come over. No, there? you were making like a horny joke is the thing. Yeah, kind of like a lewd, oh, too lewd thick. remark. Uh, too thick and <laughs> when you were saying it's too thick, I was gonna say you'll never hear me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> But I just <laughs> literally show me another fried chicken on planet Earth that's as nice as KFC. I could do that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do think that's a heavy think, lift. Do you think that's not possible? Do you like you? What about some of the beautiful chicken we've had here in Los Angeles? You still think it's better? Is the K the KFC in in Australia is better? The I would expect it to be. Cle I mean, I'd say Clems is better, but Clems yes. is just like a nicer version. Right. Using probably like a slightly nicer chicken. And like more compli complex batter. Now, what did you teach me about the batter of KFC? I don't remember. Something about like <laughs> oh. 22 spices or something? 11 They're herbs blend. and spices. Okay. They, they used to mix it up on the concrete patio outside the offices. Mm. What? The, the original KFC? Yeah, Colonel Sanders... Secretary Claudia was the person. Her who name was Claudia. Him, was the person who showed him the recipe. Wow. Um, and he, you know, obviously, she should have been on all of the the, on the box on the signage, etc. Yeah. Claudia was trying to help m me plan an Australian vacation, and it kind of became a. It's a disaster. It became a war between Claudia and my mom a little bit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the issue? He keeps asking me the same question, and I keep giving him the same answer. What's, what, what, what I was like, it? what should we do in Australia? My mom yeah. wants to go to Australia. It's a bucket list place. She wants to go to Australia. A bucket. KFC bucket. KFC chicken, bucket. Chicken, chicken bucket. Chicken. <laughs> it's a KFC bucket, bucket I list item. Yeah. She wants to go to Australia, and then I asked Claudia, and and she was like, I don't know what your mom wants from me, but she gave a very nice five minute thing. I and, did give a good five minute And answer. then I did forward on to my mom. Yes, because and unfortunately within the five minute voice memo, which was specifically sent to Mitch, I did criticize his mother. Yes. <gasps> oh but not God. in a truly mean way, but I was yeah. just like, she, you, you she need to stop know. asking me the same question mm -hmm. because I do keep giving you the same answer. It's, we want to go. I've given you a very what's, helpful What's answer. the question? The question is, what should we do? Where should we go in Australia? We yeah. don't know. But I guess it's like saying, what should and you I, see in the United States? Yeah, is it's a pretty, similar I've thing. answered many broad. times. Yeah, you did. You did. And then, and then you just ask me again and again. Take it up with my mom, all right? You I don't want to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. She loves you. I mean, her, she might not want Does to go to Australia anymore. She, yeah, she loves you. Well, Mrs. Mitchell's I love guy. her very much. She's a good hang. Wags, Wags and her get along very really? well. Really? Yeah. Famous. Yeah. yeah. Did you think you're Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I wonder what the, I mean, that's like such a big question. I mean, what do you, can Who you, can saw? you give your general advice? We saw the, um, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh yeah, we ride. saw Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. We went on it. You Fun. saw it. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah. I didn't realize, I mean, look, I haven't seen the movies so I don't know what I'm talking about, but like it came. It was long before the movies. Yes, was the ride. Right. Yeah, I know the ride came first, but I liked. You know, it's very rich storytelling. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Lots of alcoholism amongst yeah. the people on this island mm -hmm. in the Caribbean. Yeah, they and yeah, they changed it because there used to be like men chasing women, and it they changed. They they got woke. It went broke. Wow, it went broke. But they also added Johnny Depp. Which inadvertently became its own sort of thing. Yeah. Oh you know, God! Later yeah. on, mm -hmm. that's less woke. Yeah. Have they have they kept him there? He's still there. He's still He's there. They're still Amber Heard. And is he? 
<laughs> and is, it, is he animatronic? Yeah. He is, and it's actually a really impressive animatronic. Wow. Yeah. It's oh, an animatronic. I thought it was Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he wasn't really talking back to you, which is normal for Nick. He was yeah. acting very similarly. Yeah, exactly. There's an animatronic Johnny Depp like picking up a turd in a bed. There's like, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Look. We do need to talk chicken. Yes, okay, here we, we go. Do. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yes. So, uh, yeah, the point is we love fried chicken. Yeah. And yeah. we specifically have recently, or I think, you know, I've been on a very Claudia led journey into the kind of glory of KFC. Sure. Because today I did the thing that I've always recommended. Yes. I brought a lemon. You brought a lemon. Yes. And we cut it up. Where'd you get that lemon from? My fridge. Wow. I, it was actually two thirds of a lemon. So I was walking. She literally I mean, I live a long way away. I don't live anywhere lemon. near here. Yeah. <laughs> when I was walking into the offices, I had an exposed lemon, and I was like, "Is it going to get like contaminated by the air?" Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you know, they smog. just said LA is the most toxic city in America. I love that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Number it's the one. Most toxic. Yeah. Just Damn. air, etc. So cool. So anyway, um, squeezing lemon on KFC is really beautiful. It's divine. Would you I not agree? Really like I it. made you all do it. You, it really perked up. You did. It yeah, I it quite a bit. I, it was nice. I don't like lemon chicken in particular. What you do have you an mean, aversion. What do you mean when you say lemon chicken? Mitch has a Mitch has a, a what is food poisoning. I barfed issue. a long time yeah. ago. Well, explain what lemon chicken is. Le- cook, chicken cooked in lemon. Uh, lemon chicken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, like what, a lemon pepper or what do like you mean? a so it's like a piece of breast pounded out in sauteed in a lemon butter sauce yes is that what you mean yeah. well it's a completely different thing okay I'm sorry <laughs> but I'm those sorry. flavors those flavors together maybe if Claudia left LA it wouldn't be as toxic <laughs> <laughs> Lemon chicken. I just, that's like, what? I liked the fresh squeeze of lemon on oh, the chicken. You, you I thought, I thought it added some brightness. Yeah. Exactly. Some color. Some uh, much needed some acid. Yeah. Because Zest. we have yes. got salt, we've got fat, mm-hmm. and we've, there's only heat if you add hot sauce. Mm. But when she says heat, salt, fat, acid, I know, this is what drives are me crazy. Are we talking about, about the temperature the we cook at, or are we talking heat. about spice? Who the hell who are you book? talking about? Samin Nosrat. It's a big, it's a big well known oh. cookbook. Yeah. There was a TV show of it as well on Netflix, the, sh- the entire platform we met on. Oh my God. And you keep saying we and not looking at me. And I was on episode five of Love. It's true. That's you had how a crossover I met John. with Birdie and Randy. That's the issue. Were, we you, should... were you in that episode? Uh, episode party. five of Love, the party episode, season one, party episode. No, I was a, ooh, I was a, a, in a fast food. I did. I meet you later on, mm. but I was in, in a, the episode. Um, no, I was in. A, I was. I was in a fast food. Like a. Do you remember this? It was like a. What is it called when they like uh, when you sample stuff? The you know you go to multiple places. No, like no, 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 market, no. Market, market research. Oh, market research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was and my a, character was market research person. That's right. So we met there. I guess that's probably what happened. I'd- Look, I don't know. I don't remember the story. I can't remember either. <laughs> All I know is that it was one, TV, one of TV's greatest love stories. <laughs> oh, no. and look Randy at, and Bertie. You were, you were a couple and you're reunited here on Doughboy. It's, it's true. Really like that. Oh. Yeah. It's like. Damn it. <laughs> Mitch just posted up for the high five and was not reciprocated. We're just in sync. <laughs> so the five. Saucy nuggets flavors are mm-hmm. honey sriracha. Disgusting, revolting. <laughs> <laughs> you liked one. Two, two it was are okay. I, I I overall agree with you. That there's one three of them new you can, ones. We can cr- thank your great continent for sticky chicken. Sticky chicken is chick- supposedly Australian in origin. There are three new sauces. They are honey sriracha, Korean barbecue, and sticky chicky, uh, which is a sweet and sour sauce. And then there are two returning flavors uh, from the bench: Nashville Hot and Georgia Gold. Nashville Hot, Georgia Gold, both good. Their other three, disgusting. But when you say returning flavors, yeah. do you mean those were dipping sauces, but now are being used in this? Is it a seasonal they item? Had, what they are they had doing? a seasonal sauce, and it was it was not for saucy nuggets. It was for a okay. different saucy sort. nuggets. Totally new. Saucy nuggets is a completely new menu item. This two of these sauces are being reused in the in this new context. But they originally like you get like bone in bird or tendies um, with Georgia Gold or, or Nashville. Hot. It's also it's one. I look. I'm. I know people are gonna really come for me when I say this, but I don't. Um, it, across all cuisines, my favorite thing is never something that's made crispy and then drenched in sauce that I do not have control over. 
Yeah, this so this is, is our, the this core is our issue. big issue, this Claude. Is you hit it. You nailed it. With the nuggets, yeah. is the whole thing about nuggets. First off, is that they are finger food. Yes, and yeah. these become like something that you need a fork for, or you're yes. just going to be you. You yourself are going to be a uh, sticky, a sticky chicky finger food. You got yeah. your finger up there making your point right now. I just want to let the people know it's covered in sauce. Well, they I do know up. because now it's filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Still, the bulk of our audience is audio listeners, so it's a, it's 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 a it's a, it's a good thing to bring up, Mitch. Uh, just, you can see your card. Again. Your cardigan it's looks the, great. The cardigan looks Thank really you for good. The, and for, for sure. the people who are just listening. <laughs> <laughs> you love fools talking about the cardigan so much. Oh, uh, okay. So when <laughs> you Wait, like the, that reference, the, the core, the core issue with the, with the nuggets, because. they're they're not a finger they're not a finger food anymore. Now they're they're saucy and mm-hmm. and they they're gonna cover your hands with goop. Um, the other thing is, yes, the t- the texture of them gets all soggy because you want yeah. something crispy that you can sauce before your bite. Control and you get that your crunch. own sauce. Exactly, you yes. get the right amount of portion, but now it just becomes this uh this this sloppy mess. And and the whole experience is like eating Panda Express orange chicken, but with your hands. Yes, yeah. the yes. bummer. That's exactly. what I was going to ask. Is this like what is this referencing? It felt like is it referencing like Chinese food? I don't know. I don't think it's well, referencing there's, anything specific. There's a Korean flavor. I think mm. they're sort of trying to get on the sort of Korean fried yes, chicken train. Which is very which big is, right sure. now. It is very on big. On Instagram, I feel. Sure, yeah. yeah. Or maybe that's just but my that is actually Is that, is that, is also, is, but is that something that's, was that one of the returning flavors or Korean no? barbecue is a new flavor. No, there's three new okay. flavors. Honey right, sriracha, kind of Korean barbecue and sticky, cheeky, sweet and sour. But the, but uh, yeah, I mean, and you will come across styles of, of fried chicken like that, but I Korean fried chicken is not saucy by default. Right? No, no, no. It's normally no. kind of like hot, like Nashville hot chicken. Mm. It's like caked in like extreme, extreme butter, ba- and yeah. then but does it have a? It it's not always got a liquid sauce on top of it. I don't automatically. think always, but like often, often, and often there, it's been like <sighs> so. It's like <laughs> some of it's got some sauce on it, and so you've got a combination yeah. of soggy and crunchy. Yes, I'll say this: the it's Georgia Gold is the is is the one that I. When we did went to this event together, yeah, the Georgia Gold was my favorite. It was remained it the, my favorite. Was it was the event like a bowl, a cotillion? Were, yeah, what were was you the invited? Event? We actually were invited. It was an influencer by KFC. event. The we bowl? were got invited yeah. by the Colonel himself. We oh were my god! Yeah. What did just, you wear? Uh, we dressed as the Colonels. <laughs> <laughs> we went as Colonels. <laughs> it was uh, it was in Venice, so I wore something kind of beachy. <laughs> But I don't remember specifically. You were yeah. in like an all blue, Beachy. bright blue. That's what it was. I had a blue polo and I had a, a like blue floral shirt. Oh, a man wearing blue, revolutionary. The one color you <laughs> all feel like you can wear. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's fired at all of us. We're all in blue. I know. I know. I know. So cruel. Um, you know what, I think I'll go for the blue shirt. <laughs> I wear other colors. That maybe not today, but I do wear other colors. I'm gonna just throw this out yeah. there. If you don't get in line today, you're banned. <laughs> 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 if you don't get in line for the rest of the episode, you're both bad. No, yes. I've been such a good little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're both banned if no if we don't get way. this right. Okay. Wives. We should form a band. <laughs> That'd be fine. That Do you play an instrument? Cool. Called the nope. chicken bangs. <laughs> Mitch has great pipes. Mitch is a very as a. I do. It's <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. John can really sing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that I didn't like any of the saucy nuggets. Like overall, I'm just like even the flavors I liked. I was like, there's no reason I would get this. And right. I got as a control, I got a tendy and just dipped it in some sauce. And I was like, this is a much better much experience. Better. And yeah. I don't even like the tender all that much. No, I'd much rather have their bone in chicken. I wish I had honestly just kind of picked some chicken off the bone, yes. and dipped it in the sauce. That exactly. I think would have been the very best version. Mm. I have to say though, I'm such a little flavor hoe yeah. that I kind of. <laughs> that's what the fan should be called. Flavor hose. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the um, which ones do we like? The gold, uh, Georgia Dallas. Gold, and uh, Na- and Nashville Hot. <laughs> Georgia Gold, <laughs> and then uh, Nashville Hot. <laughs> Those two, I, I I like the flavor so much. Because okay, here's okay, here's a problem that I actually have with fried chicken. Some, yeah. Sometimes. Okay, let's say it. And I and I think I'm curious, Claudia, for you to tell me like, the science is kind of correct for this. <laughs> And I imagine it's some sort of brining situation. Mm-hmm. But like, I, you know, love the batter. 
And then sometimes I feel sad when I get to, especially like white meat and fried yeah. chicken. There's just a kind of like watery kind of nothing. Bland. Bland flavor once you get sure. through the batter. And like that does make me sad sometimes. And I wonder how you can account for that. Sounds well, like me at Dodger Stadium. Well, I think that is to do with like brining or not brining. Batter, like, right? Are they KFCs yeah. not brining? I don't I like think Mitch. they'd be bright. I mean, who knows what they're this, doing? This crop okay, so you're having crazy. private conversations <laughs> about something else we're doing. We're trying to talk about chicken about thoughtfully, sports, way, extremely sports, earnestly right. talk about chicken on your show about chicken. It sounds like you're going to ban us. <laughs> yeah, you're banned. <laughs> you're banned. You're banned from Pasta Girls. Wow. Yeah. That's and guess where we're going to do it's Pasta good. Girls? Where's that? Forever Dog. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. What a betrayal. Wow. <laughs> We're like Naughty Dog. This is fucked John up. Is, yeah. John is flashing double birds at the producer's Fuck desk. you guys. Over Casey and Emma. This whole experience has been hell. This is, if, you go, if you go after a staff, you're really going to be banned. Yeah, you're banned. You're banned. I was being so good until then. <laughs> I got really pissed off. You said, I love the batter. I said, sounds like me at Dodger Stadium. Nick really liked, I liked it. it. We I whispered it was back and forth to each other. Oh, oh that's funny. You that's did, so it doesn't, you don't understand you, you what you were did saying. It. By the way, showing off your cardigan now you're showing off these nice shoes jm weston's <laughs> jm weston jp press what's up here whoa what's that is it called J- jp j j press j press j's all over the place i gotta get j some early shoes. j early wow are you also uh, as, as far as are you in uh an, oh you today i'm very late man but your your name is john early yeah so I was wondering, yes, if is that, that like is, Scott Speedman? Is that like an yes. albatross oh, for you? We, yeah. Well, he's clearly, f- I mean, he. I bet he's genuinely fast. Yeah. yeah. I think he even runs in Felicity. Remember he runs oh, around yeah, the track? Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's I really interesting. Late, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get like, because there was a thing in my. But he does get the worm. Because early bird. <laughs> because he's got it. He's got the juice. Yeah. He's, he's got, got the juice. He's got it. He's got it. Remember? Oh, yeah. He's got it. Yeah. That's why he gets the worm. And I come early. <laughs> <laughs> Was that ever used against you, though? Was that ever weaponized? Like you're early. doing something and oh. they're, like, they're, like, they're like John Early. All the time. Yeah, that would I be, mean, just be really annoying. Not substitute so teachers. Yeah. Yeah. It was always a substitute thing. Yeah. That's funny. Because we, they have they the were, worst personality. Yeah, yeah. And they're like reading the role for the first time. It's like everyone's made that joke. Yeah. No one's laughing. Yeah. Shit, she loses you for the rest of the day. It would be that. funny if Why you do were... you assume it's a woman? They, uh, or maybe. <laughs> my dad was a teacher. My mom was a teacher. Um, 50-50 chance, I thought that I would What just... did they teach? My dad taught history. My mom taught English. What's this hand doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> Making a move? No. On the podcast? Never. <laughs> this is fucked up. I told you from day one of love, let's keep this professional. You're being crazy. Just because I stretched my hand around Jemmy. It was up there and you it know was that. Up there, you know it. Check the footage. Check the footage. We... Delete the fo- please delete the footage. I didn't do it, and we don't have to check the footage. Right. We you, did, you did kind of do one of these, though. You kind of put your arm back. Oh I wasn't God, doing a yard. Now you're doing it to John. Dude, dude. No, I was demonst- I'm just demonstrating. Nick, what the fuck? I was demonstrating what you were doing. This you were way crazy. further. You were, like, you were like way over here. Okay. I, I had a kid in middle. There was a kid in middle school. There was a substitute teacher, and his mm-hmm. last name was Christensen, the kid. And he was misbehaving. His the, last name was the kid. No, no, the kid. The kid's last name was Christensen. Uh, the substitute teacher had the the kid was misbehaving and said to Christensen, uh, "You're not being a very good Christian, are you today?" It was a scandal because it's a public wow. school. You can't, yeah. like, you yeah. can't bring that Church and state, yeah. you have to keep them separate. Thing. But they were just joking. They, they were just joking, but they were also he was also like mad at the kid. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you the thing. first time I put my arm around a girl in middle school? Uh-huh. Yeah. We were at I think Dunstan checks in the movie. Of course. Mm. Uh, or maybe it was. Is, is there Eddie? Is that <laughs> was the other ape movie? It was one of the ape movies. Mm. What was that uh, one oh, oh wait, the one remember? Oh, Matt, Ed. Matt, there was Ed, Ed, which was the Matt LeBlanc pitcher. Oh yeah. Yes, I think we maybe were at. Ed. Maybe at Ed. We were maybe oh, at. They Ed. really don't do that but anymore. They, yeah. They, they, the the, the yeah, guy I was with was now. like, "Do you want gummy bears?" And then I like reached my hand around, and then I just 
kept it up there. <gasps> and then I just remember like so much sweat just coming oh, out of my no. right oh, arm. Pouring onto her shoulder. <laughs> pouring onto her shoulder, basically. Yeah. Nightmare. But that was my first time doing it. Did it work? Um, I you had, had my arm around her. had sex in the I was in seventh grade, I believe. Uh, so, uh, oh, what the fuck? Dude, I, at that <laughs> point, <laughs> I was having crazy sex. <laughs> No, but you know what? I enjoyed the film. And I yeah. know. <laughs> Where were we with well, KFC? Mind yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, so, you're fine. No, well, I was actually okay. So I was in the middle of saying that basically, like, because as much as I, I really, really loved the addition of lemon. However, that was not provided by KFC. That's true. It's provided by so me. Was, it was provided by CFC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I worry if they try to like put that into the menu, it would become some kind of synthetic lemon that they squirt onto the thing with, through a pump. Right. I was just, I was right. just thinking there's CFC. CFC, but it's just it's just Claudia instead of fried chicken. It's not like you because your initials Claudia aren't actually. Fried chicken. Oh no, CFC chicken. that works. Yeah, Claudia Claudia's fried, fried chicken. chicken. It works. Uh, uh, isn't that what's in hairspray? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's bad association. Yeah, and and now we're fine. The ozone yeah, they, completely <laughs> re they healed it. Yeah, <laughs> they closed it back up. But I, I just it, like I was excited. I know texturally. I know there you your complaints are very valid, yeah, and mm-hmm. I wasn't like I would never go back and get those. <laughs> yeah, but like disgusting. I I did like that flavor so much, and because of the sauciness of it, the flavor was very thorough. I was like sure. I liked them. I think more than anyone else. here. Here. Yeah, I but the true. flavors that I didn't like, I really didn't like them. Yeah, sticky chicky was disgusting. <laughs> and you say that this is not an Australian thing. You say that this is um this this. I've lo- never heard the phrase Who's in my that? life. It maybe they sounds were... like an American writing an Australian line. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Here, here is the here is the copy for what the flavor actually is: a balanced combination of sweet and tangy flavors, including Wrong. pineapple, garlic, vinegar, and chili. If you love the taste of sweet and sour, you're going to love this. The person at the influencer event. Told us the rep at the influencer event told us that this mm. was an Australian flavor, mm. or it was, or it was maybe popularized in Australia. Uh, uh, all that said, even the flavors I liked, I would rather instead of having to commit to a full order of one flavor, mm. be able to ask, even if I'm paying extra for dip and cups, yeah. get some some different sauces, have like two or three sauces that I like, and then dip my order of standard nuggets within those sauces. It's just a better execution of this concept. Yeah, I got an idea. Warm yeah. sauces. You get a bowl of warm sauce. That's, I think fun. that's fun. Yeah, I've got an idea. You shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this sound? That's the sound of a band hammer coming down on both of you. Both. She said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> but you know, no, I didn't mean to say that. I take it back. But here's my. But question. you know what? You know what my issue was? Squeezing that, that lemon on that lemon was too old. It tasted fucking old. No, it didn't. It tasted fucking old. How yeah, many right. days? Ask everyone else. Did it taste old? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking banned. It was a bit old, but what am I going to do? Throw out two thirds of a lemon after slicing it off two days ago? Yeah, you could have warned me that you had a fucking old lemon before you squeezed it on my chicken. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> gasping. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'm scared, okay? <laughs> Well, food waste is really bad, so it was good it's for true. me to use an old lemon than to get a new lemon, yeah. I think. The lemon made a tangible difference. I like the lemon. Yes. I did not notice it being old. It wasn't. I was just trying yeah. to get her, Nick. I know what you're trying fuck? to get her. Yeah. But here's my question. With those nuggets we were having, is that the normal, is a normal nugget a KFC these days? Because mm-hmm. I'm probably thinking of the KFC nuggets I've had in Australia, which is not never what I would choose because I would just go for the bone-in, of course. Me too, yes. But like, is that what they are? Or are these saucy nugs whatever they're called absolutely disgusting they are, are they in a new shape they are, i believe they're the same form factor i believe they're the same size and kfc nuggets have famously been criticized for being smaller than the average nug mm. like versus a wendy's mm. nugget or a, or a but uh, you're getting a, a more McDonald's. batter you're like getting more like batter is not yeah. the whole point yeah. is to like actually become more and more disconnected from the real thing that you're eating yeah i guess so mm. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I don't know people the answer to this. who like chicken nuggets like a kind of more McDonald's like synthetic. Yeah. But also you're getting that crisp. separated it's chicken. Fun. You're getting a crisp from those McDonald's nuggets. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. a different thing, isn't it? It's like yeah. sludge in a little form. You don't like McDonald's. You don't like McDonald's? No, we've talked no. about nuggets on the show before. 
You don't like pizza, though. You also have had an interest in pizza lately, so I don't know where you stand. She I has like... changed her tune on pizza. I will okay. say, well, all right. well, well. Just been and let me guess, you like friends show. now too? I do like having friends. <laughs> <laughs> the show Friends. Well, I don't hate Friends. I just was. What was? What did I say about so it? So this is a this is a we did an episode of our Patreon yes. where we brought you on to talk about the Doughboys pilot, and, and it was no because one, Mitch, no the Friends pilot, the Friends pilot. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, yeah, we're not going to talk about the Doughboys pilot. And Mitch said, had said as a prelude that Claudia loves Friends, and then you came on the show and you were kind of like, it's I, it's okay. Yeah, I'm like I, I like I watched it. Yeah. And then we had you on for pizza. You didn't like pizza. Right. Yeah, you've had me on for pizza. It feels like 50 times. But I, I believe it was once. Okay. <laughs> but I do Mrs. enjoy. Okay. Look a, up the Doughboys Wiki. Do you know what I really am looking for? What's that? An amazing mushroom pizza, no tomato sauce. Mm. Mm. Cheese and mushroom. Yum. 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 If done well, but if not, if the cheap version of that is disgusting. Yeah. Sure. Of course. Um, Baja Fresh, mm-hmm. True Food Kitchen. Okay, oh, that was gross. No pizza places. Ma- yet. You did our McDonald's tournament. Yes, that was. Uh, and yeah. then Jolly Bee, and then you also did our pizza tournament. That's what you did the pizza. So you did the pizza tournament. So I've done and pizza then pizza twice. Oh, well, you, you, you had, had a lot of pizza. You had a few, you had a few different pizzas. Oh, I see. At least I four see. Slices. So that's yeah. the impression yeah. I'm getting. Or Munch Madness, the slices, right? Yeah. Is she in the Five Timers Club as a guest, like SNL? I guess so. If you count the. No, in the main feed for sure. The the collab apps with early uh, wow. Five Timers Club, um, and then if you include the Patreon where we did How You Doin about the uh, <laughs> the Doughboys, or I'm sorry, the the, the Friends pilot. Oh yeah, is and this Mitch only my second appearance? My third appearance? And this is your third appearance. You did a solo wow. appearance, right? Solo. Hold on, I can yeah, I did up. Raising Canes. That was a lot of and fun. And then we did Jolly Bee. Yeah. You guys have had the run of the fried chicken market on the show. I, know. I will have always been aiming to get here yeah, to the did. KFC. This Five. is big, and I will say this: I don't know if KFC after is... this will never come on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> KFC has it ever made the Golden Play Club, Nick? That's another question. That's what another does that mean? If it hits the threshold of four forks or higher from Mitch, uh, uh, me, myself, and the guests or guests, then it enters the Golden Play Club, and it is there until it is removed on a subsequent review. Wow! I don't think it's in the Golden Play Club. I'm just going to give a rundown of of everything that we had today. Yeah. I got a big box, ten big ben, tenders box that came with five tenders, mashed potatoes and gravy. That's the only thing that they forgot today was a large mashed potatoes and gravy for you guys. Yes. And the mashed potatoes is very yucky as well. You know what? Powdery. I thought it was okay today. But oh, man. I think they've fallen off. They have like 100% fallen off, but I thought that it was an okay version of it today, but yeah. they've fallen off from where they were. We got a large mac and cheese. Which is not good. I don't like the sadly mac and terrible. You were lemoning the mac and cheese. Yeah, which I was. I was shocked by it. Yeah, I mean, nothing to do. That. It needed something like anything at it all. It had zero flavor. It yeah. was just sure. like a waxen plastic. Yeah, cheeseless. Yeah, utterly cheeseless mac and cheese. I don't know if it's gotten worse or the mac and cheese always been bad. Boston Market had. Keep a good... in mind, I was just gonna say the Boston Market was like it was that kind of syn- almost synthetic. I mean, it was. Yeah, but, still, but it was still market? good. <laughs> what is Boston Market? I have to laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> to keep myself from getting pissed off. <laughs> it, Boston Market started as Boston Chicken. Mm-hmm. It is I a rotisserie this. chicken uh, it, 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 and sides concept, but it also has things like uh, you can get like ham and prime ribs. It's and honestly there. like Clem's. Like the si- it's wow. served in the same way, like wow. buffet. Or they s- scoop it for yeah, you. Yeah, like yeah. family style they, dinner place. Oh, yeah. 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 They've fallen. They've also fallen. A lot I think of closures. They're, gone, right? they're, they're almost gone, I think. Oh. But that was huge in America. America when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. So you like it? I loved Boston Market. And it was with mac and cheese? Yeah. Thing. Yeah. The mac and cheese was like rotini or the cavatappi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then roti- rotisserie chicken, no fried chicken. I like rotisserie chicken because I can eat pre- pretty much the whole wing. Yeah, it's really I fun. love to eat the bone of a wing. You eat what the do bone? you mean? What do you mean? Like, you know how a wing is this? It's like the fat section and then the pointy section. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the pointy. Like uh-huh. this is the point. Mm-hmm. If you roast it well enough, or you get a long enough cooked roast chicken. <laughs> I eat that entire bone. No. Yeah. You're a bone eater. Yeah. She's oh a my bone god. Eater. <laughs> that act out looked like you were eating a gun. I know. Imagine in America, <laughs> a gun. That would actually you, be yeah, really you'd never powerful. go hungry. Exactly. You never go hungry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways. That's a scary thing That's to say. crazy, though, that you can eat the bone. 
Uh, well, if you cook it enough, because it just becomes like crunchy. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm sure you have to be careful not to like pierce your esophagus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I <laughs> love it. Crunchy. Wow. Crunchy I, bone. I've tried to have like, you know, I've had like shrimp where they say you can eat it with a shell on oh, sure. and stuff like that. And I can't, I don't do it that well. No. I can do that. Sometimes soft, soft, soft shell crab. Yeah. I'm like, guys, all right. Yeah. You know oh. what I mean? Like sometimes it is delish, but other times it's like, what do you, what are you trying to make me prove? I know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm a soft shell crab. It, it's got to be pretty soft for me. Yeah, you want the crab to be soft. I want I'm, I'm, I'm shell sure, I want soft. the shell to be soft. Yes, I need it to be. I need yeah. I need it to be soft. Yeah. Um. Anyway, is that your favorite chicken like portion? <laughs> the the wing. You had yeah. to pick one. Yes, I do. Like I wings. love She's the wing. Obsessed with wings, I, and I love to roast a chicken. Yeah. And then I'm secretly just snapping the wings off and eating them before I give it to. Oh, <laughs> You were and really it, ready to go. When I walked in, you were like, can we eat now as soon as I walked well, in? Well, because I got in, I came here at 12 o'clock. Like yes. I was asked to I do. was parking. There was, was no parking for me in the headgum offices. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up all around. I agree. <laughs> Everything was fucked. Yeah. I was hungry. And I told you I wasn't going to eat breakfast so I could really enjoy the food. Oh, yeah. I didn't eat breakfast, but that's <laughs> normal. But you never do because no. you're trying to cut. Interesting. We no, had, we had eight people. Wags had a, a yogurt before yeah, because I I'm a on a like, text chain. Like this what kind of yogurt, yogurt are you eating? I do like a like a full fat, like a, a Greek yogurt. Greek. And then I do like, High I had protein. some mixed berries I just kind of threw in there. You should and put, I do a little drizzle of honey. Put, um, mm. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You should also this put drizzle was um, very mix interesting. Of seeds and nuts on there. And oh, then see, interesting. Yeah. I've, I've been having some some I- is issues with the nut intolerance. Is walnuts are so good for the brain and they look like brains? That is a lot of fun. Wait, what are seeds? Walnuts. 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 Oh. They're great for your brain, and it looks it look, like a brain. And they also look like lungs. <laughs> and they're great for yes. your lungs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're lying on one of these facts. Um, no, I have a bit I've of a ha- nut intolerance I've developed as I've gotten oh, older, no. so like I have to be, what, you know. What kind of nuts? I, like kind of everything. Kind get of all of it. Was, I was trying to set get you up. Yeah. He's, he's oh, been, you mean like he's been edging a horny sort of joke? No, 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 D's nuts. Oh, like a D's nuts thing. Can we back it up? Can we, Emma, can we just like, yeah, we'll we'll just head around. Okay. I have developed something kind of a nut intolerance lately. What kind of nut? D's nuts. Oh, I didn't know you were going to yeah, point. Yeah, I didn't know he was going to point. <laughs> yeah, out. I, yeah. I like that you pointed okay. out. Okay, you're too right. happy. So, so uh, I, I thought know, that was I know, part of the bit. I know that. I know that. I know that. I've Nick, never. I know that Nick has yogurt because I'm on a text ch- a yogurt text chain with him where he texts yeah, yogurt chat. every time he has it. So I know that he had it. I have, I've been I've been I had squirrel a, a squirrel yogurt parfait a couple days. Fine. Like like. F- <sighs> From the br- the brand is Squirrel. Package? The company is Squirrel. The, the yeah, restaurant is the restaurant yeah. Squirrel. But do they do they make that like at the restaurant or do, is it something that you get out of a fridge? No, no, they make it at the restaurant. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. And so it was good. Come, and what goes fancy. else in it? <laughs> <laughs> that famous moldy squirrel jam. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, and then some nuts and 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 stuff like that. It's wow. good. It's, it's been pretty good. Yeah. I didn't eat anything before this. We had an eight piece. Eight piece chicken combo. Oh, no combo. Just an eight piece bucket. Yes. Yes, but was, some of it was extra crispy and some of it was original. We don't know recipe. why that happened. That is we weird. That was a, an aberration. In the bucket? Yeah. Extra crispy versus original recipe. Yeah. One is pale and disgusting looking, and yeah. one is golden and heavenly. Wow. The extra crispy is like the double stuffed Oreo, where you're just like, oh, it's going to be great because I get more of what I it's like. More and batter. Then you have it in practice, you're like, this is not as good. I don't it's want pale. That. It's pale. Like it doesn't taste, to me, it tastes like it is not the 11 herbs and spices. Yes. So, like, it sucks. I agree. I don't mm. like the extra crispy, mm. and that's how the 10 come by default. Get, no one told me that when I was digging through that bucket. And that sucks. I made sure you got original recipe. <laughs> okay. So I said okay. to the bottom. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. yeah, it you wasn't our point. fault. Yeah. They, I think yeah. they gave us four and four. Yeah. Okay. And I'm with you. I, I'm you. You. You converted me. I think that Jemmy may have farted just to let you know. Okay. Um, just to let you know. Okay. Look how sweet. I'm her just eyes. gonna not breathe for a yeah, minute. Yeah, just do it so through, through your mouth. Yeah. How did you know? Did you hear it? Did you feel it? I, I inhaled something. Oh, you smelled it. Okay. Yeah. Himself potting and then he said it. That's not, I did not. I did not. I'm never going to, I'm never going to, I'm going to never blame Jemmy for fart ever. I, I still you. haven't breathed. You're, I think you're, you are good now. I Can you imagine go. if like dogs, we just had no shame about farts? They, I, they, it feels like they kind of. I don't think she has any yeah. shame. She'll just let it rip whenever. <laughs> 
It feels like they don't. They don't. No, yeah, why would yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you laughing about that? No, because she <laughs> said, could you imagine? I said, I, 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 did you say, can you imagine if dogs had- Oh, no, no. no if we like dogs. We were like dogs. Oh, <laughs> that is a horrible It's kind of the world. way I think, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get there as a society and get rid of phones. Get rid of phones. I, this is Claudia's big thing lately, and I, 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 don't I agree like with it. It's the great scandal of our lifetime. It's stolen really our, is. our Are you? I think it has affected my vision. I I have a astigmatism now. Yeah, that's not good. It's not. My dreams are literally just notifications. I do a phone-free Sunday. I don't look at my phone at all the whole day. Have it off, and it's the best day of the week. Oh. Where, where does the Apple Watch go? Oh. Around my wrist. Oh. But wrist. I'm not checking it. I don't check any notifications yeah. or anything. Yeah, you I just don't? use it for fitness. No, no. Mm. Kind of pisses me off that you actually are getting my texts on that fucking thing when I'm like, quick, I need to know today on Sunday. I get notifications <laughs> off. Oh, that's good. nice. I don't see any. You know what? I appreciate your no phone Sundays. You yeah. put it in a draw, I like it. Yeah. Um, Everyone else We're going to have to get to no phone every day, though. I, I love know. this. I know. Look, I'm just going to say, how about, can we still call each other? Okay. We're phone, gonna have to get this is what phones can have. Phones can have calls. They can have text messages. Although, I would argue we need to get rid of texting, too. Okay, let's get rid of texting. You can, I like it, but we need to get rid of it. We have to get rid of it. Okay, it can only have calls, maps. Yes. Calls and maps. That's it. Wow. What wow. else can... Can can you have podcasts on it? Yes, you can have calls, uh, yeah. maps. Music, <laughs> music. Call, yeah, sure. Okay, this is the new phone we're music. calling. The phone is called Flavor Ho. <laughs> and it is only calls, maps, and podcasts. Isn't that our band? Okay. Flavor Hose, yeah. It, but like the band's putting out a phone. Okay. I like this. <laughs> calls, maps, podcasts, podcasts, podcasts. Music. 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 Yeah. What That's if you want to it? What if you want to go to I even, band? I think we even phone. get rid of the camera. Get rid I'm of get, the camera. I'm good for getting rid of the camera. No yeah. social networking. Yeah. Sure. No nothing. But maps. That is like the one thing I'm like. We I do would love return. to have a map. Yes. I you know what it is specifically affecting restaurants, the QR code menu drives me bananas. It's it unacceptable. Is so we have to get up and leave whenever awful. we see it. And you have to unashamedly ask for a paper menu. Yeah. yeah. And I get really I mean, and this is like not fair to like the waiter, but like <laughs> but when someone hands me a, or when it's a QR code and I go, Is there a paper menu? And they go, No, sorry, I, I always get I I'm like <laughs> I'm always like, Oh, that's so heartbreaking. <laughs> like really nasty. I get really. Na I'm like, it's just we're all on our phones now. Yeah, sure. I get so angry, and then you're literally everyone's like, it's so annoying. It's really bad. Sucks. I agree with you. I it's agree with you. Like and yet you invented the QR code. I know. I that's... did not invent. And you're QR raking codes. in so much money every time someone uses one. I wish that I was raking money every time someone uses a QR code. I would be a millionaire. Why, how would I even begin to create QR codes with it? Just drawing Stamp. them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did not draw. I, I have nothing to do with <laughs> QR codes. The app, the KFC app is decent. It's a decent app. Yeah, okay, app is that fine. is one app you can have. The, the KFC, KFC app. app. <laughs> do you do a lot of app <laughs> ordering? Not with, like, like no. delivery. No, just in general. No, I only have like the delivery apps, but I Got don't it. have like the KFC the app. restaurant specific ones. Yeah, because there's a lot of fast food like. I don't think KFC has a great like point system. A lot of them do have like good rewards. Yeah, mm. y'all would know. We gotta get heartbreak on that. Oh. Um, <laughs> that was say? good. Oh, text. I yeah, I liked it. I said you get hardwick on that. But the points. Points. System. Oh, uh, wow. okay. Here we go. Points. Wags, we got the eight piece bucket. It was half extra crispy, yeah. half original. I like the original. I liked the lemon that didn't taste. Lemon old. was great. Squeeze onto the chicken. All the nugs we kind of feel the same way on. The tenders. I just want to get to the tenders. Yes. The tenders were not good today. I don't like the tenders. They were, today, I think I there's something like them. I don't, I don't like them in general. They were, the, they just, they they felt a little bit like the- Bland. Bland and a little bit uh, flimsy pale, and pale. Pale, pale color. It was, and the breading wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't have a right crisp Ready. on it. It was, there was, there was a lot of issues with them. We they also got horrid. the chicken little, which is like a chicken slider. I thought that sucked. I hated it. Was it was disgusting. Yeah. I was okay with it. Don't John like and it. I don't were like okay it. with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it because to me, it's quintessentially southern. Like mm. the the blandness of that of like chick of fried chicken and mayonnaise and pickle on a bun. Like I actually liked the pickle. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, I like the too. pickle. I just I thought the bun is just way too bunny. 
Yeah. Way too much. The bun evaporated, but was also waxy. It was the bun was disgusting. Like I want to make sure we're talking about the bun. little chicken. We're not talking the about the spicy chicken, chicken sandwich. Not the spicy chicken sandwich. It's a different thing. I was a spicy chicken sandwich. We, buns, we, yeah. we didn't, we didn't. Nick and I didn't try the spicy, spicy chicken sandwich. That was fucked up because I ate the most. I ate it all. Claudia had one bite. I ate the rest. How was it? I have to say, it was my favorite thing I had today. Uh, and <laughs> no, here's why. Favorite um, thing, Jemmy's favorite Jemmy's thing she had today. It's just jeans. <laughs> Looking up a storm so over there. Sweet. Really cute. She does this every... I don't get to wash these things if she does it every week. <laughs> Did you wipe your fried chicken hands on your jeans? Is that yeah, what happened? Yeah, that's what I wanted Jemmy to lick me, so I wiped my fried chicken on my <laughs> jeans. Get real, Nick. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is it dog fur on your shoulder? How did it, it get there? It might be cat fur from my kitties. <laughs> All right, you guys are gonna give me attitude. I'm gonna give you attitude right back. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh boy, Mitch! Mother's Day's coming up. You got sweaters, candles, the dreaded bathrobe. Mm. Unfortunately, Mother's Day gifts can be a little predictable and boring. That's why an Aura frame is the perfect gift to mix things up this year. Name the best digital photo frame by Wirecutter. Aura frames are guaranteed to bring joy to moms of all ages. Dreaded bathrobe covering mom up. Ugh. Get that sweater off of you. Too many layers. Wags, that's right. You know what? I'm guilty. I've given my mom too many of these boring gifts. Yes. Some some sweaters, some candles, some dreaded bathrobes. I've accidentally given my mom the same gift twice. Wow. It's really embarrassing. Or 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 you end up getting like, oh, I guess I'll give you a gift card. I don't, you know, like like it it's it, it doesn't feel like there's any love behind that. Well, guess what, Wags? I've also gifted my mom an aura frame. That's right. Wow. This is the truth. Aura frames are Wi-Fi connected and come with unlimited storage so you can share as many photos as you want from your phone to mom's frame. Not only will she be grateful it's not another sweater, she'll also love that an aura frame means she gets to see more of you. That's right. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com to get $30 off plus free shipping on their best-selling frame. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, Frames.com. Use code Doughboys at checkout to save. And you know what, Wags? My mom liked her Aura frame so much. Is this true? She got my sister one, and now my sister's got one in her dining room. Wow. Mm -hmm. Terms and conditions apply. Send photos you want. From your phone to mom's frame. In fact, Mitch, I'm going to send your mom a photo right now. The hell? Enjoy, Mrs. Mitchell. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. You're talking to your mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should, we, we got to, Mitch, we, we're up against the clock. We got to get to our John's got to get the hell out of here. He's yeah. promoting a film. Right That's right. Yeah, I still have I movies still have are time. back. We got a, well. We got a segment. And we got a we got a feedback to end. We got oh, a lot of okay. bullshit yeah, to go through. We got to get to our final. But I really like the spicy chicken sandwich. All I have to say, it, it felt like a, a hot chicken sandwich. Uh, that's the, the their chicken sandwiches when the they introduced them were pretty bad. decent. No, and the new fries. I've got something to say about them too. Go for it. They're okay. They're not bad. Um, and I'm glad that there's a fry option over wedge, but still, I don't need these highly seasoned fries mm. next to the most delicious mm. chicken of all time. Just give me a normal Simple. potato fry. Yeah. Yeah. Simple fry, please. Got it. Mountain Dew, go. Oh, yeah. Yes. The Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, is that what it's called? That's right. I got it right this time. Sweet Lightning. Sweet Lightning. Uh, this, is a, this is a KFC <laughs> exclusive Mountain Dew flavor that we did talk about on, uh, the, on the Yum Brands All-Star game back in the tournament. Grease, some of the Grease, I think some of Grease was shot at not far Marshall High School, I believe. Oh, yeah. The End of Grease. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. The End of Grease. Yeah. A wop ba ba loo ba a wop bam boom we go together. Yeah, like, like when the car flies into the air. Really Does anyone want a Coke or a seltzer? <laughs> <laughs> I think Jemmy farted again, I believe. Yeah. Or maybe she just yawned. I will stop breathing again. I'm gonna really quick get a Coke, but y'all keep rolling. Oh, I'll get you one. Really? Yes. We also we're gonna we're gonna take a break after we give our our final Real thoughts. Coke. Let's give right. our let's give our let's give our let's final, get our final thoughts. Let's get so, to our KFC final okay. thoughts. Yeah. So here's how this will work. We'll each go around. We'll say our closing argument, if you will, on this particular chain, and end it by giving a score from zero to five forks. And uh, can John I Early, ask, are we basing our scores on the saucy nuggets or KFC generally? I'll say what I was planning to do, and I think this is a good template for everyone to follow. But you can make your own rules. I was planning on giving a separate <laughs> fork score. For the saucy nuggets, and then for KFC at large. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John Early seated to my left. Your thoughts. Your fork score. 
Um, I have to say, and I'm going to keep talking as I receive the Coke. Um, Did you want a Coke heavy? That's what you wanted? Oh, I wanted it real. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, the best drink there is. I know. So real quick, ew. hold on. You said ew? Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, yeah. What do you, like do you like sodas cola? at all? Not really. <laughs> really? What do you, what's your default the beverage? Uh, well, water. You don't like, eff- <laughs> you, this is the thing, you don't like the effervescence. You don't like the sparkles. I don't love the effervescence and just like, I'm like, I don't have a sweet tooth. What happened? I swallowed it too fast. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow. Okay. This is why I don't like it. It's burning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <No! laughs> Mitch. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Ow. We're sorry. We apologize. <laughs> It's dangerous. Oh my god! <laughs> We're okay, sorry. Okay. This podcast is oh, causing you so much really pain. Really bad. Okay. So <laughs> I once again just want to reiterate what I said, which is that I find I, there's something so thrilling to me about getting fast food where you're getting sides, like in a kind of family style way, like or the mac and cheese, the yeah. mashed potato, instead of all these like little perfectly contained little like robot food feeling of other fast food. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I just, I love KFC. <laughs> I love the batter. <laughs> I I love it. I love the experience, even though, of course, there's like a, there's a blandness. I wonder what would have happened had I not been late and it was more hot, mm. you know? The constant question, same yeah. on Top Chef. I'm like, what's hot? I know. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, but, so how, how many forks? Out of five forks. KFC, I'm going to give um, four Wow. Wow. Is that too low? No, no, no. Oh, oh no. Definitely. I don't think it's ever been in the Golden Play Club. I might be wrong. Oh, I'm going to give it a four. And then the Saucy Nuggets, I'm going to say three. Wow, that's wow. high. I know. That's higher than I expected. That's uh, higher than I expected. Claudia, your thoughts, your fork scores. Okay, I thought the Saucy Nuggets were disgusting. The Golden Showers one was the best one. It's not Golden Showers. <laughs> <laughs> because it was the least sweet. And then the rest just got like pretty sweet pretty quickly. And I just don't want that. Uh, if I want something sweet, I'll have a chocolate ice cream. Oh my god, have, that's that's fair. I'll have an ice cream yeah. sundae or a slice of cake or a cookie with a glass of milk. <laughs> that's now fair. That's what I want. <laughs> that's fair. So, okay, and in that spirit, the spirit of that, I give the nuggets one fork. And wow. I think KFC five forks because it makes the nicest chicken on planet Earth. Five forks for KFC. Yeah. You have other, do you have other American chicken concepts in Australia? Is there a Popeyes? Is there a Churches? Is we, there a Bojangles? Absolutely not. Oh my God. We've got Oporto, which is like, um, one's be. coming to LA. One's is coming what? to LA. If, if you don't give me that fucking episode, I it's all it. yours. Well, yeah, okay. you can have it. It's, it's us too. We'll, we'll decide if we want to split you up or not. Uh, I feel like <laughs> we might have more order if, there, if well, we just get one of them. Do, you, do we need to. <laughs> Do we need to have equilibrium between the number of Claudia solo episodes and the number of John solo episodes? No, Question. no, I want to. I want to come back as a duo. Okay, great. Yeah, I will that. only come back solo if Claudia dies. Yes, that's sweet. And oh, I say sweet. the same about that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's sweet of you. All right, if fine. John you know dies, what? I've always said that. Yeah. If John dies, <laughs> I'll come back. Solo. That is very sweet. And you know what? Well, I will allow it. We'll you guys allow now it. will always be booked together. Oh, Thank my you. gosh. Thank you. Unless someone's out of town. Or something. Or sure. Dead. Or dead. Mitch, yeah. I looked it up. KFC and the three times we've given it a proper review on the podcast has never made it in the Golden Plate Club. And you know Not why? travesty. It's Mitch. <gasps> Mitch has not gone higher than three and a half forks. Well, well, well. <laughs> so I am going to go now and I'm going to let you take it home. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so you can God. you can be the ultimate devil arbiter is the one at least expects. This ends up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <sighs> what you don't like this? <laughs> Why is you're up? You Let's... think you're the one we like? People would least suspect. Uh, no, I guess they probably thought they it probably would, be would me. think you would be the devil. If anyone look how either. shitty my shoes are compared to John. Hey, 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 hey none of that. Yeah, none you of should that. get some nice shoes. What I, are you waiting for? This I is got a, new ones. I got some new ones. As far as feet are concerned, Mitch has his his scuffed up old Adidas. Uh, uh, John has his lovely, lovely shoes. I go on Claudia has gone shoeless, a thing that most guests, uh, the guests have never done. This is unprecedented. Mitch has now joined no you. No nonsense. And uh, I'm, I, I've got my, my Tootsies out of more in sandals. With nail polish. I do, yeah. I got a little petty. Did you do it? No, I went to How many flight. toes do you have? Looks like six. <laughs> <laughs> I have five and five, but maybe the way they're arranged. Seriously, they seem look old. like six. <laughs> yeah. And you also counted them below the table. Well, they so. were squirming, so it was like, whoa, so many toes. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to give you a face full of my feet, but I have five on each foot. 
My shoes kind of there. smell after wow. I took them off. Yeah. Methinks the lady doth protest yeah. too much. Yeah, moving them so quickly so we steps. can't count. <laughs> 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 moving them so quickly so we can't count. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. It's six. It looked like six to me now. Nick's got now six too, toes. Right? Nick's got six toes on each foot. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine to start this rumor. It doesn't affect me much. Uh, I am going to say the KFC Saucy Nuggets, uh, look, everyone over there at that event was lovely to us. Were people enjoying them at the event? I don't think so. Were I think by and large- Did they provide forks for the nuggets? What's that? Did they provide forks no, for the nuggets? No, they were finger food and they we're were actually, a little sloppy. We're, we're, breaking down, we're breaking down that whole experience on a Patreon episode. Yeah, that'll be a Patreon like. episode. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash doughboys. I am going to give the saucy nuggets. I just, I just think they're a flawed concept. Well, and I think your, it's a flawed well, execution. That's insane. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think no, That's... no. This, I, I think they're. It's not even a flawed execution. They're flawed at the conceptual level. They yes. should not exist. They are a thing that should not be. Well, saucy nuggets for me are. They one know form. it's a fucking year long thing. They, yes. you, there's no way. It's a cash grab. It's exactly. a cash grab. They know, and, and that's what sucks about these novelty ass like cinnamon crumbles or whatever. It, like <laughs> the places they're like balls. We yeah. actually yeah. were supposed to get apple pie bites and we didn't get them. Oh yeah, Ew, from KFC. I yeah. don't want the KFC. I'm apple pie bites. Yeah, you I'm glad we that. didn't get them. You said, little... you said, ooh. I know. I realized they were probably amazing. Uh, the Saucy Nugs, real quick. Saucy Nugs are one fork for me. KFC, in general. <laughs> there's just better fast food chicken is the thing. Uh-oh. There's just better fast food Uh-oh. chicken in America. Uh-oh. I'd rather have Popeyes. But like, like, by a lot. I think Popeyes is consistently oh, a better shit. product. Oh, shit. And a higher tier of fast food. And I also think Yum! Brands, in general, has fallen off a cliff. And they are continuing their descent, at least stateside. (laughs) (laughs) You scared Jemmy. You scared Jemmy. Jemmy Jemmy left the couch. She's going to Weiger's side. Jemmy, 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 Jemmy. you're safe over here. We offer you sanctuary. 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 Come on, Jemmy. 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 (laughs) Jemmy, we won't yell at you. Jemmy, come here. She's coming back to the side of traumatizer. Come here. Come here, Jemmy. There's no pillow anymore. Everyone stop being loud for Jemmy. Jimmy. She doesn't want to sit next to your fucking six toes. Oh my god. Jimmy. 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 Claudia, what, hey. have you done? Hey. what have you done? Claudia, what have you done? Jimmy has joined me on the couch. It was because of what Nick good said about girl. young brands. What a good girl. I love you, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> There's a warm spot where Jimmy once was. Jimmy will come back, I can tell. We'll see. She wants to be here. She I mean, she's not she has not cozied up yet. She is still. Remember how she was between you and I? Way. Jimmy. All that tooting, I'm wondering if she needs to go outside. <laughs> I need to go outside. Uh, I'm going to, look, look we get, we're, we're running out of time here. I, I, I'm just going to get to my fork score. I just don't think KFC is up to the standard it used to be. And I also just think there's better fried chicken available Which, here. And it, I think all it, the sides it, are bad. Popeyes. I don't think there's any reason to go higher than three forks for KFC. And honestly, even there, I think I'm being charitable. But I, just because the bone-in chicken, I think, is still pretty competent. Uh, three forks for KFC. Go I'm ahead, gonna let go ahead, Mitch go last. What well, did you say? What your the bone is? The devil in? is the my, one who least my, my bone in sauces, mm. saucies. Oh, the sauce. My saucy nugs is one fork. Uh, my my KFC in general is three forks. Go ahead. Mitch. Does Popeyes have bone in chicken? They it do. Does, yeah. Of course. You should try Popeyes. You should try Popeyes. Popeyes I know. Is just we better. should it's definitely. Just I've yeah. never had Popeyes. I don't it's know great. If I've had Popeyes. We should do it. You gotta try. Popeyes. I've only had Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. I don't. I mean, you're from the south, so you may have some. Well, Chick Fil A is why I like that little chicken sandwich, right? Because it reminds me of like the blandness of Chick Fil A. That is a good chicken sandwich, and their mac and cheese is very good. I would Mm. say about Chick Fil A. Popeyes introduced their chicken sandwich in recent years. It was obviously this huge sensation, and I, I do love it. I do think it's a really good chicken sandwich. (gasps) Yeah, quite the curveball from you, Wags. Uh, I'll get to my final thoughts. Um, I. (laughs) My plinal thoughts, as I said. Um, <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I actually came around a bit on KFC this time because of the lemon, because of our guests. It would have made the Golden Play Club because I'm saying four four. You're going oh up to four four. What's yeah. your score for the Saucy Nugs? My score for the Saucy Nugs is two, two and a quarter forks. Wow, you I, went higher than I expected. I, I I liked the Georgia Gold ones because they were actually they Georgia stayed, Gold <laughs> Georgia Gold because <laughs> they they stayed the crispiest of the nugs. The rest seems, seems fun to say it like that. Georgia Gold. There you go. I knew you wanted to say it. <laughs> Do it. Georgia Gold. <laughs> 
It was fun to say. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Um, Everyone should say it. Make a video of yourself saying and Georgia send Gold. send it in to georgiagold.com. <laughs> we definitely can't get that one, I don't think. But we'll look. Um, you could put the videos up on birdpluck.com. You could put them up we on... Could, yeah, yeah. You know what? Actually, yeah. Send in send in your Georgia Gold reads. And we'll... We'll, we'll put them on George... We'll, we'll put them on uh, birdpluck. I think they have to live on birdfuck.com because I don't think we want to maintain two separate URLs, but we can redirect Emma just let out a big sigh yeah. thinking of the fucking maintenance of the website. <laughs> birdpluck redirects to bird to fuck. Bird fuck. So when yeah. you go yeah, yeah. to bird pluck, it's just going to bird take pluck, you to bird, take fuck. You to bird fuck. And you Whether can you're see. plucking or fucking, you're going to the same place. That's true. <laughs> we now own birdpluck.com. That's right. From that fountain of cash, Weiger referenced, that we, <laughs> it's going to birdpluck.com. I've had something in my eye for the last 20 minutes and I've not made a big deal about it. You need a break? <laughs> well, and both of y'all you. stood idly by. <laughs> yeah. It's probably one of your cat's Buzz flying through the air and land. Wally and Armour wouldn't do that, first of all. Second of all, we need to get this guest out of here. Oh he has God, to promote his movie. It's called Stress Positions or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> four Forks. <laughs> you know Four Forks. I, uh, the Nuggets are, are a disaster. Give us I warm sauce. I was right to scream, Nick, you, well, you've done a bad thing today. You did. Uh, I, you know, I could go up to Four Forks and put it in the Golden Plate Club, but I don't think it belongs there. I appreciate I honestly this. Don't. this we, we can't rig the show. No. Uh, all right, it's time for a segment. Uh, <laughs> so You're fine with extra toes, but not extra I forks. Know. I had a normal number of toes. <laughs> Looked weird to or me. Or do I? Six is normal. <laughs> Everything's beautiful. All right, we've got some, uh, hey, we got a food stuff we're going to decide if you should put it in your mouth. We got, uh, it's Snacker Whack, and hey, we got some three different varietals of Kit Kat. Now, here's the issue, Mitch. You and I are going to have to share, because oh. we only got three because we thought we'd, norm- we'd have one guest for this. Since we have two guests, I'm going to give each of them That's one of these lot. for themselves, <laughs> and then you and I can split the third. Uh, so we've got three different Kit Kat, Kit Kat varietals. Kit Kat White. Ew. There are not four, excited by that. Four Kit Kat bars in each package. Yeah, there's so if you want to just open one, just oh. Kit Kat birthday cake. Now I'm Yucky. a big enthusiast of birthday flavor, but that sounds like a flawed concept. And then cr- Kit Kat chocolate frosted donut. Okay. Okay. I'm not That's complaining. Might like, be okay. okay. <laughs> Let me circulate these. Here, I'm just gonna pass these all over, Mitch, and then you can hand me your your leftovers. Can I have a hundred? <laughs> we have enough. Okay, okay. There you go. So I get a one donut, one birthday, one white. This is really <gasps> dangerous to be taste testing chocolate with Jerry right here. Okay, she's is it really that bad for a dog? For chocolate. She like she did. Did she even sniff that when it was sitting next? No, to her? she yeah. didn't. She she's usually interested. pretty good. She was very interested in KFC it, though, because I think that will be the nicest. I'm, tra- I'm starting with a white because I think it's going to be the worst. Where so do y'all stand on Kit Kat in general? I like love Kit Kat. Do you like Kit Kat? Are we crunching into the microphone? Mm-hmm. Where does the Kit Kat jingle rank among jingles? I think it's a pretty good jingle. Give, Give me, me a break. break. Give me a break. Break me off a few so that Kit Kat bar. Mm-hmm. I think this is disgusting. Yeah, I don't like it. Which one are you having? The donut, donut one. Donut. It does taste like a chocolate donut. Yeah. But. Just give me a normal Kit Kat. Can I, can I Surprisingly. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. oh, no, no, you're fine. Kit Kat white. Not that bad. It's probably simpler. The donut one is just like. Very sugary. It's got, for people uh, listening right. on the audio feed, all right, Mitch is tossing over a white I'm one. I'm going to hate Wow! It. That was amazing. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now. So kick John out pulled white. A Charles Woodson and intercepted it. That was really mm-hmm. something. Kick Who's out white that? has chocolate between the layers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a football man. Uh, there are two different, as a winery now. Really? The Weigery. <laughs> wow, I will say this wow, looks very cute. It does look cute. It looks like cake. The sprinkles are very cute. I'm at white, and I know I'm going to hate this. Do you hate white chocolate? Birthday cake, not good. I don't hate the chocolate frosted donut. I don't think it's good, but I don't hate it. I mean, it's sort of impressive in that it does recreate the sort of flavor of a a thin, insipid chocolate glaze. Yes, it does. But it's bad. Yeah, I don't see any reason to get this over the default, which is always my metric for... Birthday cake so far is my bottom. It's bad. Uh, if, I'm gonna say that for last because I'm a big enthusiast of birthday If you flavor. like white chocolate, you could get this, but I guess you would have to be deranged. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have the white, white one now. Birthday cake is sucks. Sorry. Yeah, I still don't like the donut the the most. I think the white one sucks. You liked birthday like cake, it. John? I didn't like it. I just think that it's not it as bad as the donut. It is cute looking visually. It's cute. It's absolutely adorable. I know visually. I'm gonna hate it. Okay, right. I'm moving on to white. 
So the birthday cake mm-hmm. one has some little sprinkles in there. And then I, 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 was, I was trying to say earlier, the chocolate frosted one is kind of separated into two different layers. There's like a base layer uh, and then a darker chocolate layer up top. Do you think if someone's ever playing a character in something and they've based it on you, John, the director might say to them, do it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But the cake <laughs> but the cake's gross. And the camera turns around, I'm the director. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do it earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Gemini. Um I so what's the game here? Do we rank them? Yeah, we say snack or whack. Did, it was just And AI. saying that the white chocolate cat ca- is my favorite. Me one. too. It kind of is the most successful one in that it just is what it is. Yeah. And I'm gonna say Wax across the board. These are all wax for me. Mm-hmm. Weirdly, I kind of like birthday the most. Because you know yeah. what? It reminds me of one of those frosted like animal cookies. You know what I mean? Mm, yes. Of course, yeah, with yeah, the little the sprinkles. sprinkles. And that is a very specific texture. Yeah. The tooth going through the waxy white chocolate mm-hmm. into hard sugar sprinkle. But maybe mm-hmm. that's what it is. It's it's like biting into a memory. These even all kind of suck. These really all like kind of suck. They're, They're all bad. Suck. These Kit are bad. Kat. They're whack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Proust's All whack. Kit Kat. Yeah, thank That's you. What was that? You I said, said Proust's, Proust's Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Mm. <laughs> 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 ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Still it was <laughs> so I'm not, I don't have some sort of... Uh, I don't, Game on Santa? Yeah. Just because I get cast as Santa all the time? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. You could, play, like you could play Big Daddy and... In um, uh, Tennessee Williams, what's that? Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah. we Ooh. should do a revival of all four of us. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maggie the cat. Yes. I'm the alcoholic closeted husband. Nick's the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was curly in Oklahoma back in. The- I was, was too. Wow. And yet, neither of you have truly curly hair. Although, do you? When yours is longer, is it curly? I actually do have curly hair. When I grow it out. Oh my god, you with long curls. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> grow it out. Give everyone a treat. I. It looks like shit when I grow my hair out. I feel like maybe I will grow it out this summer. My high school did Oklahoma, and I played bassoon in the orchestra. Uh, hey, that was Snacker Whack, just like a restaurant of your feedback. Let's open up the feedback. Today's email is from Dave in Burbank. Wow, Dave writes. All Hi, the gang. Way. Hi. In 1994, my best friend Joe quit the job we shared at McDonald's for 25 cents more per hour at the Carl's Jr. up the block. While being trained, Joe told his manager that, as a customer, he often found a couple of fries mixed in with his onion rings or fried a zucchini in with his cross-cut fries, etc., and asked why that happens, to which he replied, Oh, I like to walk by once in a while and toss a few wrong items into the other bins just to keep it fun for the customers, and proceeded to grab a handful of fries and throw them in with the fried zucchini. He couldn't tell if she was fucking with him, but he adopted the practice for the rest of his tenure at the restaurant. My question for everyone is, as the manager of a chain restaurant, what Mm. sort of fun extras would you add to your daily routines to keep it fun for the customers and staff? Love to you all, and thanks for the fun. Little sunglasses emoji and a peace emoji. How about that? That's a dangerous practice, because yeah. what if someone's allergic to potatoes? All fun and game yeah, until, until yeah, you got a zucchini. A potato allergy? Mm-hmm. A but zucchini allergy, an onion allergy. Isn't the funnest thing in the world, though, when you get that order of yes. fries and you got a single onion ring in there? Yeah, For those of us that. who don't have allergies. Yeah. Potatoes or onions. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I do think that is fun, and I'm glad. All right. Okay. <laughs> and now John's arms up around me. <laughs> <laughs> And for the people who are just listening, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, no, but I think that's fun. Yeah, I think it's fun too. It I think it's is fun. fun. <laughs> you know like what? Like, what would we do? The question well, is, what would you do? The question is, like, the they're, question. they're asking yeah. us to invent something. I'd say there was cake, but it'd really be Pepsi. <laughs> I put cake on the menu, but I'd be secretly serving Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Every time anyone ordered water, I give them a chocolate shake. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> pretty fun. So thirsty. <laughs> that's fun. I think that I would, Nick, you know what I would do? Yeah. I would give people a surprise dessert sometimes. Ooh, and just oh, that's dessert. Just They've not ordered dessert and yeah. you get a dessert. Yeah, that's Hey, you great. got a little piece of cake. Sometimes people do, you know, the, I, I, I feel like that's the thing I've gotten the most of, like, gone to a restaurant. I'm being very yeah. nice to the 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 waiter or waitress. Yeah, trying I'm to get their number. Not trying to get their number at all. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true, Claudia. Maybe Claudia and I went together and and she I I had a crush on a waitress, but I didn't ask her for her number. Oh wow! 
It's the truth. I would never. I didn't do that. That's a, There's that's, nothing wrong with asking for a number. That is true. I think for a service employee, it can sometimes cross a line. Yeah, it's right? not. I don't want to go to my yeah. job and the people who are like paying me based on how nice I am to them are right, asking. Right, right. I guess it would have to be oh, after the check. Yeah. After the check's been paid. Yeah. Yes. You have yeah. to leave your number for them. Yeah. You don't yeah. Ask for and theirs. then they can just you throw it in the tr- and they can throw it in the trash. Yeah, we used to collect them. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know what you do? You leave your sunglasses there and then you they leave and then you come back. This sounds insane. Like, uh, like yeah. oh, I forgot my sunglasses. With the and- money Mitch spends on sunglasses, this is not a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he buys the most expensive. So hold on a second. I forgot my sunglasses. Also, I love you. What are you supposed to do <laughs> when you come back? I don't know. You just take it from there. You know yeah, what my trick my is? What's that? I clog the toilet. <laughs> And then I go, oh my god, it's, I clogged the toilet and it's it's overflowing. But I go, and I'll come back in the morning and help you guys clean up. <laughs> That's the way to do it. It's so romantic. Yeah. Do you yeah. need me and to hot. sleep over at yours tonight so it's easy for me to come in with <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. to clean it up? <laughs> we can get like breakfast on the way or whatever. <laughs> In terms of fun things at a restaurant, I always appreciate like a little uh, a little personalized message written on something. That's like if fun. on my cup, if there's just like my name, but then it's like Nick. Don't come back. But then there's a little smiley face or something. <laughs> oh, Not, yeah. Don't come back. <laughs> Stop forgetting your sunglasses. I'm a model customer. <laughs> oh, there was something though recently there that I got takeout from and they wrote like was that was that with you? It and they were kind of like inspirational messages, oh, like that with marker. Like familiar, yeah. Like like you made a good choice today. I was yeah, like, it's oh, like, sure. fuck shut you. you. Shut no, up. No, no, no. Don't condescend to me. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I hate yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, what I like ugh. is a good uh, sit down place, a good waiter bit, but I wish there were some new ones. You know, like a waiter's like, oh, like you I see you thing. clearly uh, hated it. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my you know, God. I, I give it. it to them every time. I love it. I always I'm love like, it. I go crazy. Yeah. I got we got we got one um, up in Ojai where we ha- they were asking about a dessert and the guy was like, "Oh, it's fine. It's it's good. It's a uh, it's vegan. It's gluten free. Uh, it's a uh, it's sugar free. It's dairy free. It's flavor free." I was like, "That's really good. That's pretty good." Yeah. <laughs> Though he's shit talking the menu. He's shit talking the menu, yeah. but he's also like, I'm, "I'm being honest to you," which is yeah. like a fun a thing you want from your server. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Any other fun things that the waiter or waitress? Or I've tried to get server. this one started. Which is like, I've talked about this in the podcast before, and maybe there's a context to get work in a restaurant. Mm-hmm. But um, like if someone like orders like a really healthy item, mm-hmm. like if someone orders like, a, like oh, I'll just do the Mediterranean salad. I'm on a diet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get him with like, yeah, like ah, I tend to yo-yo diet. Yo-yo, give me that burger. <laughs> <laughs> yo-yo. Yeah. <laughs> As if it's 1993 right, or so. Right, yeah, yeah. But John, don't you say something all the time? You have a bit that you oh, always do for waiters, and they never understand what you're doing. Oh wait, yeah. What? I can't. Remember. Oh, oh, the allergy thing. What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, whenever they're like, "Any allergies?" Or I go, "Just to fakeness." Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's, funny. Really fun. that's really <laughs> fun. That's really funny. Like, huh? Yeah, because also like fakeness isn't really. Yeah. you don't and hear also that. Also, it's often. like the most serious question they have to ask, yeah. and yeah. Then, and then you're like, "What?" <laughs> I know what I would do. Yeah. I'd say, open your mouth, and then I'd shoot some of their drink in through a straw into their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you do that to waiters, or you want waiters to do that to you? Uh, if, I, you were a waiter? if I was As a, waiter, a waiter, yeah, you're doing yeah. that to them. If I was a waiter, I'd eat some of it, and then I'd spit it into their mouth like a bird. Yeah, I think that's fun. <laughs> I do do a thing often where if there's like a tiny little, um, like, like a spill, a crumb or something on the, I'll ask for it to go. <laughs> that's funny. like a little that's really fun that's that's funny. Yeah, it, makes okay. it makes me laugh it's funny I used to my, as my little thing when I was done with my food uh, like but I've had like a, like a little bit of pancake left I'd carve it into an N like my initial whoa uh, and so wow. I'd leave a little N on the that's, plate honestly, wow. scary. kind of unsettling like calling card. <laughs> I forgot stuff. about my all time favorite bit that doesn't involve the waiter but the table next to you yeah mm-hmm. is asking for a bite oh yeah that's, that is really fun it really makes that's me laugh really it's just like a total stranger like can I have a bite that's yeah. really I feel like if a waiter if he if he was feeling the energy if the waiter did that to you like yeah. you could maybe get away with it but you'd have to really be like syncing with the family or yeah. whoever, whoever the party was that would maybe scare me because there are psychos in the world who maybe would just ask for a bite yeah, so yeah, I'd sure. be afraid to do it I got a phone call 
Well, th- it's good timing, Mitch, because Auburn, uh, Auburn, California. Don't know who it is. All right, okay. here we go. It's good timing because we got to get John out yes. of here. If you have a question or comment about mm-hmm. the world of chain restaurants, you can email us at feedback at birdfuck.com or leave us a voicemail at 830-GO-DO. That's 830-463-6844. The fuck out of here. And coming up next month on Doughboys Double, last year we did Mank, our month of, of uh, on David Fincher's filmography for May. This year, it's back. Mank 2, Pink. A full month about the films of Alexander Payne starting this coming Tuesday oh. with the Tracy Flick of podcasting, Jess McKenna on election. Oh Make two pink only wow. at patreon.com you know slash doughboys. Neither of you are banned. And also, Nick, we got to pl- have them plug. Yeah, I know. But I'm getting, let me get through the fucking end of show business. Our producers, <laughs> Emma Erdbrink, our associate producers, Amelia Marino, our engineers, Casey Donahue, our video editor is Mike Dorfman, our guest, Claudio Doherty, John Early. Uh, please plug whatever you want to plug and thank you for giving us so much of your time oh my god thank you for having us I want to say that my movie Stress Positions is come is in LA at the um, I'm panicking the landmark sunset it's in New York at IFC it's in Albany New York it's in Atlanta it's in Austin Texas it's in Cambridge Mass Chicago Illinois Columbus Ohio Denver Colorado Philadelphia PA Portland Oregon San Diego California San Francisco and Tampa Florida Stress Positions released by Neon starring me wow you're wow. starring in this movie congratulations thank you. Stress Very Positions exciting. check it out thank Very you exciting. Yeah. yeah I don't think I really have um, much to plug right now <laughs> That's okay. that's okay. And that's it's, chic. It's that's ex- cool. It's really exciting. That's great. Yeah. I was just trying to help. He went crazy on me. I know. Just Look, fucking trust me. If you find an N card into a pancake later and I'm missing, you know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of Doughboys. Until next time for the Spoon Man, Mike Mitchell. I'm Nick Weiger. Happy eating. See ya. I'm your host, John Early. And I'm your host, Claudia <laughs> Cody. Hey, buddy. Want Doughboys merch? We're talking hats, shirts, sweatshirts, patches, glasses. All sorts of stuff. Aprons. It's all available at kinshipgoods.com slash doughboys. That's kinshipgoods.com slash doughboys. Sources for the intro are in the episode description. That was a HeadGum Podcast.